cuando quiera yo ya voy a ni me dice que yo voy Las drogas se venden como frutas, paraíso de los gatos, tú disfrutas, paraíso de los gantes, bebiendo jarabe con dos p con el más adelante, con cadra y tranqui, mocato sin el mando, haciendo lucas como ande, paraíso de los gantes, lambe, de esa p se lo fundes por mi fuera de tu idea, de esa p que habrá m de mi hijo, quiero que le parta el cuero, paraíso de los gantes, lo mato en 30 segundos, los peluches ya no guantes, los bye flow bate. Dale con la carcha, somos los niños de la calle atrás, ni carta. No me eche el aliento más, sal a buscarte. No te pongas filosófico, me pego el descarte. Estoy dripping como un carro, con los clones y con los cortes. Ve cacho se reparo, ve tostito si te paro. Paraíso de los pandas, con los clones y con los cortes. Ve cacho se reparo, ve tostito si te paro. Paraíso de los pandas. Solo Dios me va a jugar, tú vas. Si lo pagaste ni pa paraíso de los gatos, tú disfrutas paraíso de los gantes. Bebiendo jarabe con dos puros, con el más delante. Si no es no se chan, fumando chante con la chan, haciendo lucas como Andy. Paraíso de los gantes. Entonces se lo fumes si por mi fuera de tu idea. Entonces se lo fumes si por mi fuera de tu idea. Mundo se lo fumes, 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 se lo fumes. Ya ve. El paraíso de los cantos
ver cómo se hace. Dale despacito, mami, nada que te pare. Tú sabes, baby, que yo soy una gárgola. Moviéndote con los papi, tú te pones a rezar. Que sabes que yo te pongo bici. Ya me cambiamos cuando te veo dreaming con alguien. Tú sabes, baby, que yo soy una gárgola. Moviéndote con los papi, tú te pones a rezar. Tú sabes que yo a ti te pongo bici. Ya me cambiamos cuando te veo dreaming con alguien. más. Sin compromiso. Mami, dale hasta el piso. Con esa carita linda yo no me complico. Ven pa' pillarte como si fuera yo mi En tiempos de la hype, baby, yo no lo medito. Uh, hey. Se esconde, no, nena. Papi, pa' mi mente en ese caso no es tu lema. Y un baby hit bien rojo y me voy chibi. Mándame un día en mí, nos comemos en luna llena, ey. Baby, pégate, muévelo bien salvaje. No te hagas loca, todos saben que eres grande. El ponte en esa pose pa' saber cómo. Soy una gárgola, salgo de noche con todos mis gatos de rapando en los coches. Vita encendida, todo de roce, la vivienda activa para el perro hasta las 12. Un, dos, tres, con la nalga para el piso, la vivienda sola, nadie le da permiso. Prende y pasa, lo seguimos en casa, que yo tengo un par de amigos para quemar la sasa. Oye, bandida, pero tú eres una atrevida, cuando baila está encendida. Le pide al DJ que ponga el chauri con la blue que grosería.
Y quién me dice a mí que hoy no voy a salir? Y quién me dice a mí que hoy no voy a salir? Yo lo que quiero bailar hasta que el sol salga aquí. Dame ron, dame ron, dame ron, 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 Show 
This stream contains fast flashing images that may affect viewers who are susceptible to photosensitive epilepsy and other photosensitivities. Viewer discretion is advised. Today, we are going to find out. Hello, everyone, and welcome to day eight of Masters Madrid. We're coming to you live from the Madrid Arena for our best of five lower bracket final between Sentinels and Paper Rex. I'm your host, Ying Su, and I'm here on the desk today with Saisho, Kakuka, and Tom. We're in kind of like a bold sandwich. I love it. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. I mean, yeah. I love the intro. How, how do you make your sandwich? Do you put, am um, I the top or the bottom? Do you put an egg on the top or the bottom? Yourself That's why I'm very bottom. confused. <laughs> I think that's up to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> up to you guys. I, don't, I don't like the energy that we brought out to begin the day today. I I'm love stuck. the energy I that we brought out. I love it. Uh, because if we take a look at our current bracket, it's exciting times if you're a fan of the Pacific region. Because Kakuka, for the first time ever, we have two Pacific teams in the top three. Yeah, exactly. And what a way for Gen G to make it, right? Defeating, defying all expectations, making it this far, and having Paper Rex add another chance to go into another final. It all gets us like today. Yeah. It's got to feel gutting being DRX at home and realizing yeah. that after trying so many times to get to that point, it's Gen G that's overtaking you and just Munchkin exploding to the top level immediately. Yeah, let's talk about that a little bit more because Tom, like uh, Saito just said, no DRX, but Gen G in a grand final, first Korean team. Again, mm. exciting stuff. Yeah, maybe one or two players that have sort of made that comeback and talking about the likes of Lackia and obviously their coach in solo has had to sort of sit in the back lines a little bit, but it was a real redemption arc yesterday. The fact that those players got knocked to the lower bracket and now they got to do the same to Sentinels. They look so good. I mean, yeah. these Gen G players look absolutely on fire. On an individual level, I'm not sure there's a t another team in the tournament with as many players at that kind of caliber, which is bonkers. I mean, everybody was expecting that from probably more like the America's teams or the EMEA teams. Yeah, but I think that we're happy to see it, especially after yesterday and the way that the, they uh, defeated Sentinels. They definitely knew exactly what to do in every second, in every instance, and could read into their opponent very well. I think that we should give more props to Solo. Yeah, yeah. now I know we've all be theorizing about, you know, the script, where it comes from. I know you and Brent in Bracketology. I think John Riot's name has been thrown in there a couple Many of times, times <laughs> uh, as well. But I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to look behind the curtain because today, and for today only, we are going to bring out the Master's Magic 8 wheel. We're going to give it a spin and we're going to be able to answer questions that all of our hearts truly, truly desire. So oh. uh, let's just get it started, Josh. I'm going to let you have your first question. Okay. My first question, an important one, not just for this tournament, but will in the entire history of Valorant Pacific ever win a trophy? Please, how have they not done it already? Oh. All of the Pacific that's analysts. Spin. That's a big spin. Oh, All yeah. of the Pacific analysts just on edge here. <laughs> Remember, this is the truth. Here will we go, here we Pacific go. Pacific ever win a trophy? Oh! oh! Yes! Massive win there! No, 
guarantee it's right here. But <laughs> ever, well, I mean, ever, ever, at some point after today, we can see if, if we can see if it's actually here. Yeah, I mean the wheel has spoken. So let's see, uh, Tom, what your question is going to be answered. Oh, mine, mine's a little bit more toxic. I feel. I said, I said, did loud underperform? You want to make some enemies, go. don't you? I, no, no, I'm not making enemies. The, the wheel, the wheel, wheel is, is making, making enemies. enemies. It's a limp okay. roll, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> limp roll. Here we go. Oh, okay. Okay. oh there you go. Okay. exactly. Okay. It's, it, it, like it's it. an America's wheel right now. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It, was <laughs> it was like the audacity of Tom to even ask yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But Bayer, surely you, you're going to bring us back with a better That's question. That's their best performance. Uh, mm. Are you instigating um, him? I might be. My question is going to be, will EMEA make global playoffs ever again. Oh my god. Oh. Wheel, please, wheel. Oh. I don't ask for much in life. I'm so scared. Oh That's god. so doomer. I that can't look. Like... I can't I'm look. so scared. I can't look, I can't look, I can't look. Oh, don't. Please give me a oh, slay. Please, 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 please. Oh no! no. <laughs> We're wrong. done. We're done. We're doomed. Why would you? Uh, I can't I mean, believe you it. You write the script, right? Why it's would you fault. even do that? I mean, you, you've killed Yinsu. You've killed uh, Yinsu. I can't go on. This was going so <laughs> well. We've all, three of us have just lost our jobs. Oh, yeah. What's the point anymore? That's unlucky. <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do an easy one for the wheel. Okay, nobody has to be heartbroken oh. at this one. Uh, should we buy the Sentinels bundle? Should we actually do it? Okay. Go on. That's got to be a slay. Come on. Should we do it? I mean, now I don't have a region. <laughs> Can I be adopted by <laughs> Americas? I'm sure they'd be lucky to have you. The tension. Here we go. No, I'm nervous. Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh. Better not oh. Say. Yeah, that's Zel that's Zelsa's job. We don't want to steal his job. <laughs> that's so. a great point. Okay. You've you got to leave it for him. Yeah, I think we have talked a bit too much about it anyway. So. Yeah. But ha yeah. Has any of you I bought the Sentinels bundle? I don't care. No I don't comment. Care. I don't care about the Sentinels bundle. What I'm looking for today is the Sentinels bungle. I want to see Paper <laughs> move on to the final. Okay, well, that's what you think, but I want to know what you guys think at home in our MasterCard fan poll. It's very simple. Who is moving on to the grand finals tomorrow to face Genji? Will it be Sentinels, like Sideshow uh, has said? Or will it be Paper X? Because uh, the wheel said. So scan the QR code on your screen and cast your vote right now. And make sure you use the hashtags Valorant Masters and VCT so we can feature you on the show. If you have a question for the wheel, hey, let us know. Let us know. We might bring it out and give it another whirl uh, as the games go on. But for now, let's move on on to this huge match at hand because the reason these two teams I show even got to where they are right now is because they both lost to Genji. Yeah, it's a really interesting fact that both of these teams have played similar opponents. And I feel like Genji really demonstrated two core concepts, right, to be able to beat these teams. One is anticipation and the other is outpacing your opponent. And I think they anticipated everything that Paper X was going to do, so they were always ahead of them, and they outpaced Sentinels horribly. They were always making decisions quicker than Sentinels could. Good. I think their reads as well were unbelievable, especially if you look at Split, the map, the Sentinels, they're the best team in the world. And then they went up against them and every single time they were walking into an empty site, forcing Sentinels to retake, which Sentinels are good at, but not against Genji. It would be so crazy because tomorrow they have the chance of winning this entire tournament without dropping a match. And to me, it's back to what we were talking about yesterday on the show. This is like, a, they're like a motivational quote. It's like, work hard, do it in silence, and then show off the results. Yeah, for uh, Sentinels as well. Tekken, Tens, Zekken, they've been unstoppable the entire <laughs> It's going to happen. Tekken is here to stay. All right. uh, All right. but, but Tom, what happened against Genji? I don't know. It, especially on Tens, it looked like a different beast. But I even just feel like the impact that Zekken had was just missing. Mm. He was someone who was pretty much destroying the majority of opponents throughout the tournament so far. I'll tell you what happened. Gen G's players are just better. <laughs> Man, there were so many spots where they got into good positions to fight and they just got outclassed. Uh, Tens of Zekin are unbelievable players, but yep. the players they're going up against today, we've seen Forsaken take over. We've seen yeah. something take over. You need to be getting this level of impact out of the guys and, and it, it's all good having a game plan that sets you up for success. At the end of the day, you still got to click their heads, right? Yeah, definitely. They need to forget about what happened against Genji. There were also so many instances where they would go down first just because of being in positions that only Genji was able to punish. Now, will Paper X as the other Pacific team be on the same level? But we'll see. Why? Well, especially if we're going to be seeing Split, which I think we will. We have seen I mean, Forsaken yeah. actually take over that map in crazy manners. I don't know if he'll be able to get those aces up. I know we talked about that <laughs> earlier in the tournament, but even something has started to come alive as well. So, yeah, I think they're going to need those superstars on the central side. Dude. 
Dude, yeah. look at the look yeah, yeah, they, they, they flash Pete ridiculous. second in and Meteor just dodges it and gets the kill. No respect. <laughs> I mean, we heard Tend in that press conference talk about uh, the, the drop in performance and he said, it just felt like every time I was swinging Genji, I was swinging into three people. Yeah. It sure, wasn't I that time. Put, I, think, I, think, I think he's putting too much on himself. I do think that uh, it was more on the Genji side, having the correct read and actually knowing how to activate themselves against Sentinels. I mean, if he swings into three Paper X players, uh, what, how, how are we feeling about There's that? There's never three Paper X players in one place. <laughs> they're, they're always scattered across the map, so I think it'll be okay. <laughs> I mean, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but also, we have heard a lot from our coaches here in Madrid as well. But are we buying what they are selling? It's time for Kaplan or Cap, of course. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a couple of quotes, uh, starting with the man Kaplan okay. as well. I want you to tell me if you're buying into what you're saying. Is it Kaplan or do you feel like maybe it's a little that bit? That cap fits cap? really well, yeah. by the way. Uh, <laughs> as well. So uh, let's start with the first quote here. He said, uh, lots to learn. Wish we didn't make the mistakes in the first place but it is what it is. I take full responsibility. We will be better. Sideshow, Kaplan or Cap? A uh, little bit of both. I mean, he's mm. probably referring to the fact that they had a game plan on Breeze that fell to pieces. Uh, I would say, you know, you want to get rid of that today. But I think this is kind of a lie, but the good kind of lie that helps your team's confidence. See, I'm again, going full cap. I'll, I'll be yeah? honest with you, I think it's full cap. It's the classic coach scenario after a match where you go, guys, it was all me. Let's ignore the fact that Tens had a bad performance today. No, it was me. It was because I picked the but wrong those are the good. Hear me out. Lies. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. It's a good lie, but it's still Cap. Hear me out. I think it's Kaplan. I think that he wants to give their uh, his players the chance to forget about what happened and just put everything on him so they can keep performing on this tournament, making the finals and getting that trophy. Fair. So it is Kaplan. Okay, we got two Kaplans and one Cap. I feel like you're out. Well, he was a bit he, in the middle. He's on the fence, though. Yeah, there's, the there's, point? there's a little bit of both there. There's Cap with yeah. the, Kaplan with the cap on. That's <laughs> he's, doing, he's doing what a coach needs to do in this situation, yeah, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's very end, right? He even tweeted mm. uh, back in EMEA as well. It's all me, it's all me. Every loss is on me and every win mm. is on the players. Uh, but let's move on to the side of Paper X again with Coach Alex. Is this going to be Kaplan or is this going to be Cap? He said, there's a lot of hesitation right now in the way we play and that actually hurt us. I think any team to be consistent, you need to be first and foremost, very confident in the way you play. Kakuka, is this Cap or Alex? <laughs> um, I think this is Cap. I, I think that if you're Paper Rex, with how much experience you have in international events, you have such a defined play style that everybody's able to recognize, you should be confident in it by now. And if that is the reason that you're not performing, maybe you're looking in the wrong spot to spot what's going wrong. Yeah, I think if, for the time that that quote is taken from, a little earlier in the tournament, Mm -hmm. He was bang on. There was a bit more hesitation. It didn't look as fluid. But now that they've got Monyet super diving in on Rays <laughs> and everybody's following up, it's not just Forsaken acing to win them rounds. Yeah. They've actually got systems that are working. Uh, some things' timings were fantastic when he played against Loud. Their read on the game is way better than it was at the start. So I think to some degree he was analyzing the, the issues correctly. The problem with all of that is how do you fix a hesitation problem? How yeah. do you give your players more See, confidence? I was going to say, I think it's 80% cap because I think... <laughs> At the beginning of the tournament, four of the five players didn't have any hesitation. They were still doing ridiculously aggressive things, but Munyet was hesitant. So he's the little 20% wiggle room I'll give. But now, I, I don't think that's been the case, especially in their last match. I didn't see any hesitation whatsoever. Oh. Yeah. So we uh, agreement? Cap, cap, cap? Well, he's a Kaplan, but we're, we're in the cap. Oh, oh, yeah. you're, okay. You're different yeah. again. Yeah. You're different again. I just, but, what can I say? Yeah, I believe authority. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me something, I believe it. But the thing is, what do you, uh, in terms of it being cap, what do you want him to say, though? Well, what is it that you want to hear from him when it comes to Alex? Um, I'd so, say it's... I, I mean, I, I, what I'd like to see is him to not dwell on the fact that he can't figure out the solution immediately. I feel like a lot of what we've heard from Alex is, I know that we have problems, but there are so many different ways that we could fix things. I don't know what it is, but the players are already figuring it out live in the server. You see him doing it. Yeah, but that's the thing. If you want to put your time and your energy into something, I feel like that is such a broad just him. Uh, term. Uh, just him. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, just something. Oh, okay. Yeah, just something. okay. Let's just get Sorry. something just Tom on... Yeah. Something that can play better, play better with the opponent. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult now. All right, Thank okay. you, Tom. We, we've talked about Cap. We've talked about Kaplan. But let's hear from the man, Kaplan. Or Cap. Okay. I don't know. Because uh, Mika Fabs is standing by with what I think is Coach Kaplan right now to see how he is feeling today. Hey, Kaplan. So uh, that was a really tough loss yesterday. Uh, can you tell us how you managed to prep the boys for a comeback today? Yeah, so yesterday one of the biggest problems was that we started really kind of shaky and nervous and therefore didn't play our game. So after some thought, I've concluded 
Uh, there wasn't enough pressure on them, so I'm adding a lot more. I've told them if we lose today, they have to swim home. And just to double down on the pressure, I'm gonna pick Breeze, I think. Oh, oh okay. Thanks. Okay. Wait. That's all right, all right. Is that Cap or Kaplan? Well, that was Kaplan. I just saw him. <laughs> yeah, it's also completely true. I've seen the, the, <laughs> the Google Maps swim route. How, oh. how, how long does it take? Oh, uh, they're not going to make Swimming. it. I'm afraid does, does they're Google not going to make it. Oh, it's, it's a bit far. Do they have the, that? How long does they it take? Should. By swim? They should. If I don't. think the, the original thing that Kaplan said that they came in nervous, I actually think they didn't look themselves in terms of how confident they were swinging and taking those fights at the start on mm. split. So. I'd like to see them get into the groove of this match really early on. They talked about how Zelsus is so important for the vibes and stuff. I think he got rattled a little bit yesterday, whether or not he would admit it. I'm saying it's Cap. I think that it got to their heads the fact that Split was so one-sided on the side of Gen.G that after after that map, they were out. What about the Mentally. Breeze, though? You think that's Cap they're going to pick Breeze? Yes. What they might <laughs> yes, do, because technically true. down the line, if, if they just don't ban it, then they might end up picking it just because it's a best of five. Might be yeah. Kaplan. Might be Kaplan. Maybe. Yeah. I doubt it, but it might be. All right, let's move on to uh, Paper Rex because uh, for them in this tournament, every single time we've spoken to them, they've done this little rating thing. You know, Forsaken said we're six out of ten coming into this mm. tournament. And then you had a uh, Devai yesterday. He hit us with a ten out yeah. of ten. So I wanted to put you guys to the test. Let's, as a desk, rate some of uh, what Paper Rex have been up to. So I, I see you have your whiteboards here. Show whiteboard. me the numbers. Show me the numbers. You want them oh. numbers? Oh. All right, an eight, a two, and a five. All right, okay. Kukuka, what is it about Paper X that's given you a two right Hear now? Hear me out. I just <laughs> focused on one thing. You know, I just focused on one aspect. You know, what makes Paper X Paper X? The crazy compositions and the crazy playstyle of being extra aggressive. Then I just focus on the compositions that they have been playing here. I just picked out some of them because there are so many crazy things. Just looking at the Ascent, no Sova, no Jet, no Sentinel. The way they make it play is something goes and makes a play with the Operator. They apply a lot of pressure with that. I think it's very easy to counter, and I think that Sentinels might have a very good read on that. For the Bind, I feel like I have a problem with something, but I don't really have it. It's the Reyna. I've seen it a couple of times. I'm not sold by it. I really like the Harbor, but mm. And then the Split. You come in. I thought that we were going to get that triple duelist action. I feel like they're very unsure in why they're choosing this composition, and now it is too late to make the changes. So I was adding points for creativity, and then they were going down as I was getting like, the rain and all that. They won those, so yeah. how's, how's only a two? Yeah, ridiculous. But because it could be better. <laughs> top, top, I want more. Top I'm three a team, girl. two out of ten. Are we in agreement in terms of the comps, no. at least? It's a two. No. Oh, no? How, what are okay. you rating? For? I, I, I'll, I'll give them at ten. least a three. I, no, I think <laughs> they, you need them to play some bizarre stuff when it comes to their compositions, and I think that they've actually started working so you're on it. So a big Rainer fan? I think it's a bit the rain. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, they, they, they're going to 3-0 today We're playing Rainer and Gecko <laughs> off. What number, though? What number are you giving uh, right. for the comps? For the comps? For the comps, I don't know, maybe like a, a six or seven or something. Okay, like that. I, my five. I, dude, I'm down for them. <laughs> but the thing that I'm rating the eight here is the improvement that they've made over the course of the tournament. If they were a six out of ten earlier when they were playing against EDG, oh, when they were struggling, the when they were losing, exactly. <laughs> I've added on the two from your competition, <laughs> and we've got to eight. Because I feel like at the start of the tournament they were a little out of sync. They couldn't really get money yet online, and they hadn't had enough time, I think, playing the compositions that Alex wanted them to go towards heading into Madrid. And then you see them towards the end of the tournament here. They're making risks, they're finding timings, their read on the game is really good, and they're playing off each other. Look at them baiting Dubai in this situation, forcing mistakes out of opponents, getting Mind Freak into the clutch. We haven't seen this kind of stuff happening from them until the end of the tournament. They're getting in their groove. It's an eight compared to last year. Do you, do you agree? Are we bumping into I do, I that? do, I do. The, the development has definitely been there within the tournament, and but I think it's also what we expected from Paper X. I, yeah, I'll give them eight. Yeah, they're all right. You they're know. all right. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're not at ten yet. It's a but good yeah. thing that you said they're all right because the five feels like it, it's a very middle ground. It actually sounds yeah. like just all right. <laughs> do you know what? I've got my leather jacket on. It makes me a vibes man. That's what I'm looking <laughs> at right now, and I think the vibes for five of the players or five of the people have been very, very good. Laughing, joking, having a great time. No desk slamming for five of the people. <laughs> now, there is one well. other person on this team, which I think is a one out of ten, and it's this man on your screen right now. Alex has been uh, getting a little bit frustrated. I'd say maybe even more so than what we've seen before. So it puts me bang in the middle, Sue. Do you guys yeah, agree? I did slam the desk a couple of times, but it was like excitement. It was like a good yeah, slam. Yeah, yeah, it, it was a good slam. The duality of it as well, because Alex is such a fun guy. He's always smiling. You would find him. He would be the happiest on earth. It's the coach booth. 
I'm saying that's, that's, that's <laughs> it's just the, the vibe. Room. He just gets in and he's runner. grumpy. To be fair, we've seen Chet in the dungeons it's before. Yeah. And he's, he's not been loving it. It's, it's crazy how Alex is thinking about this team when they're winning and they're top three at a Masters currently with chances of making their third final. And he's like, I'm really unhappy with the way that we're playing, actually. It's all individual skill. No, no none of the synergy that we've built up. And it's like, they're, they're winning. They're winning. <laughs> it's crazy because he has those kind of reactions even in the rounds that they win. Yeah. We will go to coach and be like, God, it's not the pick that we were supposed to do. <laughs> hey, that was, a, but, that was quite a good pick. But, yeah. but I'll tell you yeah. what, he never delivers it to the players. That's something yeah. that's very yes. important. Uh, articulating when he's in interviews, he knows when to communicate and how to communicate to the players to get the best out of them. And he doesn't bring any of that frustration or anger with him into the comms. Tries to keep it good and positive for the players. And you can see that that's where that differential comes from you're yeah. talking about, Tom. He doesn't bleed it into dragging the whole team. He takes like, it on the desk, so he doesn't take it out on the players. Yes. That's why we've had to reinforce the desk. Okay, we'll just do a very quick, uh, I guess, a rating, a combined rating. Are we taking an average? Are we adding everything together? Ten. What are they right now? But that means I'm correct, right, with my uh, five. Uh, well, uh, if, about. if 10 was how they played last year, though, where they made, you know, two big final, or one big final, I suppose, mm. and made it deep in tournaments. They're, they're not that far away at the moment, in my opinion. I'd give them a 7.5. I, I was going to say, I'm not kidding, I was going to say 7.5. 7.5 right. 7 out of 10 it is. But for more <laughs> on Paper Rex, let's send it back to Mika Fabs and Monia for some vibe check. Hey, Monia, what's up? You feeling good? Yeah, feeling good. Okay, good, because like everybody loves, you know, so loves it when PRX are like feeling great and they love the PRX vibes. Can you tell us though, you guys have been staying quite humble. Tell us how the team is feeling today, especially since now you have made it into the top three here at Masters Madrid. Mm, definitely unexpected, but I think every time like when we go to lower bracket, we just felt like more no fear, you know? So yeah, we'll see today. Eager to see that fearlessness on stage. Good luck. I mean, the vibe seems good. The vibe seems like it, it is there. What did you guys make of that? Well, Alex isn't there. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a hater, man. Oh, such no. a hater. Money has got great vibes. He's adorable. Like, who doesn't love Money yet? It, it has or Money It has been a lot of pressure on Money yet, though, this run that they've had. All of the eyes are on him. All of the public pressure's on him. Totally. And even the internal communications are that this is, Alex said, this has been the biggest roster change they've had. It's them getting Money yet up to speed. When you have the focus on you like that, yeah, the pressure's going to be enormous. And I've actually been really impressed at how he's stood up to the big pressure, to the stage, and found his moments. And when you play on Paper X, you have to be so risk positive. Yes. Uh, you can't allow the fear to make you play in a safer manner. And he's just been great. I think that we've seen it also in the past, right? Where, uh, I believe it was at Tokyo where we had CGRS and he was also stepping up and everybody had eyes on him. Yes. I'm glad you mentioned Tokyo because oh. Mind Freak did as well in this tweet right after they beat Loud. Uh, he said, it's another miracle run by us. 2-0 Loud feels like Tokyo all over again. Now, I'm a little bit worried about the second Part because Tom at Tokyo they had a sub, so I can understand why that was like a miracle. Yeah. Is, is he? But does that mean he's calling Monia a sub? Because that, that's really <laughs> toxic if that's the way you're looking at it. But I don't think he is. I think it's just that they've come out, they've not looked their best, but they're still beating teams that realistically, in each time we're going, oh, they probably lose to Loud now, right? Oh, they probably lose to this team, and they're just managing to continue their run through the tournament. And at this point, you're getting to the stage where you get that paper X delusion where you go. They, they, they might just win. But yeah. that's the thing, it's always a might, right? And it's actually when we get this late into a tournament, when we get to those best of fives, that that is when Paper X just falls down, when they crumble under the pressure, because they have been unsuccessful in winning a single best of five here in international events. Oh, don't remind me. Don't remind me. I mean, if, it, me if it's going to be like at Tokyo all over again, I really hope it's not. But they have but to finish second. Face. Only one of yeah. them can be true. <laughs> that is true. The narratives, there's too many narratives yeah. going on, I feel like. The, how, how worried are you about that, though? The fact that every time they've got to that best of five, uh, position is just never gone their way. Well, you have to you have to remember that best of fives only happen when you play against the top teams. You don't play best of fives at the beginning of the tournament where you're really heavy favorites against the people you play against. So it's not just BO5s. They, yeah, they do have some map pool weaknesses, but it's also because their opponents are great. Yeah, well, I believe in Paper X. Uh, what a shocker. Uh, but it's time to get the results of our MasterCard fan poll and see if you guys believe in Paper X because, yes, you do! Let's go, Paper people, rise up! Nice. Uh, yeah, anyway, what did you guys think of this? <laughs>
<laughs> you just, <laughs> you just <laughs> lost your mind. Paper, paper people <laughs> rise up. Yeah. 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 Uh, they're my paper people at, you know? I can't believe they beat your sentinels in a poll. Yeah. Time of day. Big deal. <laughs> yeah, possibly something like that. No, Could be. no, no. It's just they're right. They're just right. Mm. I, I think that uh, going back to what you were saying uh, earlier about DRX, you know, we've mentioned so much the fact that the usual suspects are not here, that this has to be the time that Paper X manages to finally win a title. Yeah, but I think that the opposition they're playing against is extremely tough. I think Sen okay. have probably got an advantage in the map pool department if yes. you're looking at what they're going to be running into. And when Paper X win, it feels like it's late in the maps. It feels like it's based on a lot of individual stuff and hard reads. I'm not sure how consistent it's going to be. I mean, there's one thing that's more important than this lower final, more important arguably than the entire uh, final as well, which is the classics uh, kill is leaderboard. It, it is. Uh, for, is it? for one man it is, and his name is Zelsis. If you take a look at this, Tom, Zelsis Ooh. has officially taken oh. over Moniet, and he's uh, up there with 20 kills. Does that just mean he got a lot of classic kills in the game that they lost? Yes. Is that because they? Uh, yeah, because they were ecoed yeah. so much. Yeah, they ecoed so much. They don't even buy shares, and it, you know, uh, he always takes uh, his moments to like show the the bundle. Oh Take yeah. It real mm. I mean, he takes moments to show off more than the yeah. bundle, doesn't he? I, he's showing off the but bundle. He said it. <laughs> okay. The what? Okay. The what? Uh, John, yeah. What Should we showing? slow that down? Yeah, what, what did he say? It? He's flashing his ass around. <laughs> That's what's happening. Am I unclear? Okay. Am I, I unclear that Celsius <laughs> is caked up and takes every opportunity? All right, then. Oh cool. My God. Yeah, so next, the leaderboard for the... Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We don't, have, <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a leaderboard for that. But what we, we do have, of course, uh, is the Matt Vitos. This will be a best of five. So let's send it down to Victoria and the coaches and see where we're going to be heading in today. All right, welcome to Math Select presented by Omen for the lower finals. This is where we are transitioning to a best of five. Sentinels, you come from the upper bracket, so you'll be higher seed. Would you like Team A or Team B? Team A, please. Team A, so PRX, you will be Team B. And we will start with your first ban. Ban Breeze. Breeze, and your ban? Ban Icebox. Ban Icebox. So map number one from Sentinels. Pick Lotus. Lotus, side on Lotus. Attack. Attack, and map number two. No, pick Ascent. Ascent, and side on Ascent. Defense. Defense. Map number three. You have bind, split, and sunset. Pick split. Pick split. Side on split. Pick defense. Defense. And then map number four, you have bind and sunset. Sunset. Okay. And side on sunset. Defense. Okay. Map number five by default is going to be bind, paper X, side on bind. Attack. Attack. All right. Good luck to you both. Thanks. Good luck, man. Well, Kaplan was capping because, Tom, they banned the Breeze. They're not going to let it through. Yeah, I, I don't think it's their ban. Though. I'm, I'm really that interested. I'm, I think <laughs> I'm a little bit more worried about what Paperx have done because I, I feel like they had a real opportunity to take away a decent map for Sentinels rather than banning a map that they both don't really play. And so I feel like the map pool now lead almost even further into Sentinel's favor. Yeah, I totally agree. Also, the, the Lotus with the composition that uh, Paper X play, I think that is very easy to, to exploit and very easy to be prepared to. Yeah, I think that when you look at the map pool, uh, one of the big things that stands out that everybody's talking about too is that when Sentinels play Jet, they're one and seven on those maps. Yep. And two of those have just been removed, one by their opponent. And it's not because Zekin's a terrible player, it's because those are the maps, in my opinion, that they put the least time into, and they just happen to also be the, the Jet maps. But this is looking good for Sen. Yeah, uh, is it looking like we could go the distance? And if we do go the distance, does it get better for Paper X? I think how, that how do you know? We've barely seen yeah. either team play Bind. I think Sen only played it once against Heretics. But that's the thing, are we even going to get to Bind? That's also what, yeah. talking about the form and how the teams are going to come into the stage. Uh, yesterday, Devai was telling me in the interview that they feel like uh, their compositions being so unique and people having so many bots on them, they're easy to counter. So they also acknowledge that kind of flaw in themselves. I, I do think getting into the late game though, like if they can perform well on Split and also then Sunset has been a fantastic map for Paper X. I think Bind ends as sort of like a toss-up at the end. So I think if Paper X get that far, I actually do think they have a very good chance to take it. I also think that the way that they play on Ascent is difficult to play against. Yeah. And it's uh -huh. not been a great map for Sentinels overall. They don't look like the, the best team out there. So it, it is super possible you could get a 2-1 lead, actually, for um, Paper X to start the series. No, I think that actually Ascent, before coming into the tournament, I think that Genji showed uh, when they played against each other how 
not easy, but how you can counter them. I think that something is going to be always one of the questions. How are they going to be shutting down his operator on the Gecko or whatever he's uh, playing? That is one of the big questions. If they're able to deal with that and some of the positions that they take at the beginning of, of the rounds, especially on Ascent, I think that Sentinels have a good edge to I win mean, here. Loud and KC, though, both struggled on Ascent against mm. Paper X. It's not easy, I don't think. Yeah, I, I think at this point, though, the one thing that does worry me for them is just the tape that they have on it. Because they play sort of a lot of compositions, especially in that last match for Paper X, where I'm looking at them and going, it is the individuals that are now winning that for you. And if you've given that little bit of extra time to Kaplan to kind of look through and go, okay, they're doing these crazy aggressive defensive side pushes. How can we shut that down? Can we play our default properly? And can we almost wait for them? Because the team that managed to beat Sentinels was the really structured team. Paper X are not that. Yeah, exactly. And I think that Sen needs to go back and and just think about the positives that they have. And also before coming into the tournament, I think that their retakes are so beautiful and it's going to be one of the determinant keys for today if they're able to just maybe give Paper X that space and no fall into uh, their game. Can they do it? Can Paper X pull off the, uh, the token miracle, I guess is what they're calling it. So do you guys believe in that? Yeah, they absolutely Ooh. can. They, they Isn't the can. Tokyo miracle them losing now? No, wait, well, yes, yeah. 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 and champions. There's a bad yeah. choice. Yeah. Yes. They, they totally can. Totally it's can. about getting big performances out of individuals and coming up with combos and uh, pace that is going to outperform what Sentinels are anticipating. Gen.G were faster than Sen. Paper X could do it too. Yeah, well, it's time to get this best of five series started. Sentinels versus Paper X, where the winner will take on Gen.G tomorrow in the grand finals. The Masters Madrid lower bracket final starts right here, right now. So I was like, hey, let's go to Madrid. Let's go see the games. And you guys want to come in? You guys want to cheer with him? Come in, come in, come in. Woo! Go Sentinels! Are you from Spain or did you travel to be here? I traveled here from Germany yesterday. Do you have any uh, predictions for the finals of the tournament? Oh my god. Like, in my in my head, I won PRX because they're my favorite Pacific team and I've been supporting them since last year, since they have such a great run. But the crossfire setup is too strong. It's too damn strong. And PRX seal it away! I mean, I don't even expect how we're here. I thought we're already going back after the Carmen Corp win, you know? We felt depressed. Somehow we still managed to win. The time is running out and now it's gone as Gen G 13 to 3 Sentinels. We are going to be playing against PRX. They've been here before. It will not be an easy series. They play very aggressive. They don't really care about advantages. They like playing their way. I would like to think that we could punish it. We just have to come in and play more together as a team. Sentinels, this time we will have zero fear. We just beat loud and now we're beating the Americas. We're not out yet. We're coming for you. What do we want to say to the fans? Um, thank you guys so much for supporting us throughout uh, this whole this whole run. It's been a wild past like few months, honestly. Even even just this tournament and the off season and kickoff leading up to it, it's been a crazy ride. I know that um, previous years has been kind of rough as a Sentinels fan, but it's looking up. I'm feeling confident. My team's feeling confident. Couldn't have done it without your support. Thank you so much. I hope you guys keep supporting us. I mean, I know some of you don't believe in our 
new W Gaming, but I hope you guys just keep trusting us. We're trying our best, and I hope we show a good performance, you know. And yeah, spread love. Hopefully, we win. And I kind of want to beat Sentinel, you know. So yeah, Zelsis, we are coming for you. Awesome. Let's go. what it's going to be of these two teams. Yeah, I, I think, honestly, this first map could be almost a trendsetter. Like, I think it favors Sentinels heavily, but it's one of those scenarios where Paper X get off the mark quickly, we could be seeing a dangerously quick series. And I think the player to watch here is something. We're expecting him probably to be pulling out the jet because that's one of the big compositions that they've been running on Lotus. It's unusual. You're confident? <laughs> well, who knows, who knows? Uh, something could be playing anything. Right? Yeah. But mm -hmm. if he is playing a role where he's able to have enormous impact and pulling out the operator, then he becomes the pivotal player in my head to have that impact and outweigh the compositional disadvantage that they've got. Can something's jet go against Celsius Odin, Josh? <laughs> Not gonna Can happen. he take it? Like it? Dude, Celsius took a long time to get online in the game against Gen G. He was getting bullied in the first map. He woke up about halfway through Lotus. So, I don't know, I, I feel like this Sentinels team has shown that they can be battled at this point. But you have to be immaculate, and Gen G is right now. I don't know where the Paper X is gonna be today. That's the thing, going into this map in particular, you mentioned something, I think the Duelist on the other side in Zekin, yeah. this is a map where he truly thrives. Like, the space he's able to take, especially on their Seaside Executes, yeah. he's just devastating yeah. as he enters into the site. And Sassy's supportive utility is bang on almost every single time. That duo together in this map is gonna be hard to beat. You need to look at the reliable players. I think that Zekin is one of them, especially on this map. On the other side, how crazy is Paper Rex going to be? We know that for the last matches that te these teams have played, they've had shaky starts. Those pistol rounds sometimes do not go as planned. And if they do, maybe it's what everything that they get in that half. I'm going to be looking, assuming that we see Forsaken Cypher coming online. To refer back to your point, Tom, Zekin was unbelievable on those Seaside entries. Yeah. He was just amazing versus the game against Gen G. But if you've got trips to try to stop that, I'm wondering how that flavor works out. Yeah. And it will be that classic composition from Paper X with the double Duelist and the Cypher. And it, it's actually more difficult to raise entry against that than the Killjoy. Yeah, but, but the rest of the team is going to have such a much easier time. There's no Killjoy, there's no Viper. Like, you're going to have you know, potentially a lot of freedom. That is where Paper X has to respond fast. They have to move around the map, they have to put the pressure, and especially Mind Freak, he needs to be very mindful of that paranoia usage. Yeah, and what is it, Tom, that makes Sentinel so good here? What, what, what are some of the difficulties Paper X could run into? I think firstly they're adaptive. Uh, as it was mentioned, I think Zels is playing like an Odin all over the map is always difficult when you're coming up against that defensive side. But I also think they are very good at that sort of push and pull of the map to get into those entries. Well, I can't wait. We have two great teams on stage and two great casters on standby as well. Get ready for a certified banger. It's Pansy and Hypok. 
Thank you so much, Sue and the desk. Yeah, this is an exceptional head-to-head -head here, Mike. It's hard to split it. You look at the teams that they faced to get to this point, near on mirrored. I mean, this is probably one of the most exciting best of fives we've had in a minute. Yeah, definitely. I think former side doubts as a side. The fact that Paperworks are still here, yes. still alive and kicking, still delivering is such a testament to the potential, the talent on this roster. Because that's always been, it's been questions the whole way along. The things kicked off here on Lotus. Apex going to make some progress towards A here. Zelsis, I'm not even sure actually if you've got some information there, but backs away at the right time. Smoke coming through. We'll confirm some presence behind this. Apex just shift walking up. Yeah, they're pretty close as well. Now, fortunately for Zelsis, he does have John QT nearby. Something is on the site. The blind didn't work well enough to be able to get past Zelsis. Pick it up where he left off. That classic looks good in his hand. Sassy in support. Divide the last alive. And he's hunting. Zelsis, just around that corner. Can Divai do anything here? Oh, absolutely yeah, no. not. Look at that poor on of utility. Sen off to a flawless beginning. Apex just trying their luck, trying to walk up here, play contact up towards A, but again, that first exchange of utility, the snake bite coming down, something gets separated. Unfortunately, Zelsis added another couple of kills to that yes, classic sir. leaderboard here. Unfortunately, beheads. Something and one yet. Takes the bite right out of this execution. A flawless start here for Sentinels. You could have talked about potentially that aspect of coming off the win or the loss to get to this point. Obviously, that Gen G matchup, probably still fresh within the Sentinel mind. But again, coming back in off to a good start, correct all those wrongs, and back in that confident position. And a patient start here. You know who you're against is Paper X. Got to be careful, got to be cautious. Tens. Going to be noted early. Still sticking around, though. That's is perfect. Now you won't actually do any damage, but does force Tens back a little deeper. Something's still desperate to try and find a pick here. Let's burn up the dash, though, so he's going to have to slow things down a little bit as we hit the minute mark. No real pressure point for Paperx to try and exploit. Does Tens go farming here? Very much in a position Feels for Feels like it. it. <laughs> yeah, that smoke, the only thing keeping Paperx safe currently. Just about to dissipate, and he dips away. Zekin, though, still with eyes on, going to now post the paranoia. Close enough to do some damage for Saken, though, unable to convert that to any form of kill. As Tens holds the line, giving Mind Freak something. And it was Device still alive. Yeah, there we go. This is lovely stuff from Sentinels. Five alive again. Not suffering a casualty yet. Back to back flawless here will give Sentinels a massive cushion Huge. in terms of the funds here early on. Obviously, coming to the next round with a little bit of a disadvantage in terms of the weaponry, but uh, I mean, Sassy with a rifle, maybe an opportunity for him to get something done. 30 seconds left. Sentinels carry this remaining. confidence across, maybe get a little proactive here. Round to do it in. Yep, maximize their chances of really trying to do some damage at least, but oh, an honest go of this round three. Wondering if Sassi was going to send that out, maybe get some early info. Ops against it. Forsaken. Cage no subtlety to his presence here. But I'm not even sure meantime, actually if, if that was after the, the barrier job, sorry. Mm, the, the, no, whether or not the spy cam. Kind of called Sassy off that reveal, mm. expecting a little bit of pressure towards B, potentially. Paperworks haven't really revealed themselves over towards Rubble just yet. And nothing out of the ordinary, really, from Sentinels here either, kind of playing it rather standard, even with those Stinger Spectres and that Bulldog in the hands of Sassy. Sight now, pressured, something. Gonna be going first and actually overwhelmed, isolated again. These problems re-emerge, and what a chance for success now for Sen. Can't quite get the weapons, but they're in touching distance. And PRX down two players is a huge loss here. Divide, looking for something, but Ten's actually slipping into drop here. He's gonna send the paranoia. Not expecting too much of a push here, but Forsaken, the one to wrap this, will find Zelsis. Trying to allocate some safety on the site, maybe get that plant a feasible option. They're gonna go for it now. Limited utility left on Paper X. Sen. Similar position, a touch here and there. You can hear it just going through from Sassy then. 
And they wait poised, flooding back into the site. Mind free, great pick up towards Zekin, but it's still dangerous. Still a man advantage to Sentinels here. Can they close that final gap or can Devai dig in his heels? This could be huge for Mind Freak, but it's not clean on the first attempt with an opportunity! Sentinels still going! I was worried they were playing an outstanding, a, a traditional approach, and it still worked. Paper X sends something in Monia into the back lines once again, but this utility completely splits this execute up. Unfortunately, I mean, it's the perfect time actually for John QT to find contact or at least be seen on heaven. He plays in his teammate. And immediately then you see the flip all the way back into a passive hold. They want the time to run down, allow Paperx to get themselves stabilized and Sentinels capitalize on the numbers advantage. A very early time out here, Lauren. Yeah, this is incredibly early. Round I mean, four. This has been a recurring trend as well. We've seen uh, Alex burn up, you know, timeouts in the first half by round eight, by round nine almost. It's just, what do they do with this? I, I, they've been able to creep close to sites. They've been getting right next to be able to get that plant down, but every single time they capitulate there. Yeah, I mean, there's two very, very clear examples of, of maybe a requirement to change this approach. Both something and one yet, not really finding any value from themselves split in two rounds. Whether or not now, Zelsis and John QT can play with that a little bit. Oh yeah, subvert expectations now. They get to start enjoying themselves a little bit after such a robust start. I mean, two back-to-back -back flawless rounds, ridiculous. And the round three. And the bonus. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that again, it, it just it, it just kind of whips my mind back to that game that we saw against Gen G, where Sen looked completely out of it, which was wild to me, right? It felt completely out of character because these guys had been just on the money the whole way through. But the question does become, can Paper X cause those same issues? So far, not been the case. Going to go for a, you know, a touch of a purchase here. Not too much weight behind it. Two Stingers, Sheriffs, and that Bulldog in the hands of Mind Freak. But they need to make impact, Mike. As silly as that sounds, they just haven't quite been threatening enough yet. Sure, with two flawless rounds as well, something not very close to his ultimate. One yet. Better progress, but still three away from the showstopper. Be crucial ultimates around like this, but Paperx seemingly looking to push and prod a little more in this round. Try and bait a peek out somewhere across the map, but we have actually seen a big adjustment here on the defense. It's tens to solo hold down rubble. John QT and Zelsis now side by side once again. Zelsis done damage previously with this weapon. Looked fantastic with it. He did, he really did. He made it work, looked comfortable, didn't look just, it was very one-dimensional. Absolutely not. Something tries to get healed up. Second bite of the cherry, Zels is still gonna catch him. It's at least allowed a plant to come in. That's not bad, Paper X will take that. But can they defend it? These walls feel like paper when that gun's in play. Second the one to find Monyet hit. And we look towards the rest. Who's remaining? Forsaken, Divi, Mind Freak. Desperately trying to hold on. Didn't quite get too affected by that. But that vice-like grip gets brought into play when Ten starts to play through by the door. The flood on the site, it's there on Flawless again. Mind Freak nowhere to go. And Sentinels looking genuinely flawless here, Mike. Only one casualty on the way in. Paperx, a little bit of threat to this, but again, hesitancy to, to really dig any deeper. Try and convert that into any sort of comfort here. I mean, the amount of pressure that Zelsus is applying from inside this smoke. Yeah. Can't really blame Paper X in this scenario. Oh, come off it. Okay, at least there's a purchase now. You're going to see the rifles coming out. Hoping Forsaken gets that full buy in here. Looking at the armor. I'll find you. Uh, yeah, no, no armor on Forsaken. Um, so that's a little bit of a problem. Maybe just looking to play late here. Be the second layer to any sort of uh, set up for something, but Zekin looking to get ahead of the curve. Oh. Caught by the paranoia. Showstopper sent out, but nothing on the other end of it. No, just teetering on the edge of commitment there, but deciding against it. Monyet going to pick up another towards his ult. One off now. Very close by with a couple here. Devi, I think, two away. Nice to bring into effect, but a different, a, 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 a tangible pace change and a very near miss there. Tens 
Going to note the player, but didn't quite connect towards it. But again, Paperx look a little lost on this one. Uh, or maybe not lost, but just adjusting their approach quite late in the round, 40 seconds. They're, I don't know what they're expecting to come into towards that seaside. We know that Zelsis well, will be present. I don't know if they're expecting uh, Zelsis to still be here. Not necessarily any clear indications of a difference in setup, but that'll be the confirmation for Zelsis at least. Paperx still taking just their time now, here. Yeah. Yeah. Zelsis, so nearby, undiscovered. He could be such a problem for them, not this time. On yet, denies it. Great pickup, perfect follow up. Something answering back. That's Tens dealt with, that Zelsis gone. The first two responders to the site. And now the three trying to come back in are a little ways off. Zekin still alive, Sassy there and John QT could still cause a couple of issues. Monyet goes down, the gates start to open, but the cross is being watched. Forsaker's position is excellent, as is something. Sassy, this is gonna, I mean, this is a tall, tall task. Time is. Really good damage. Tick. Yeah, unconfirmed. And they're still posturing here, and that's it. Mind Freak, gonna put the full stop on the end of that sentence. Paper X get themselves on the board now. It feels extremely dicey to be hitting towards this site again. Late round, yeah. Zelsis, all he really needs to do is find a little bit of damage, maybe even a wall bang, but slight overcommitment from him. Monyet's the one to punish. Well navigated by Paperx nonetheless, who get themselves a couple of ultimates online now. Devai yet to get on the board, but Seeker's here and available. And something, an operator in hand now. He's been deadly this event. Beating up the last few series as well with it. But that chip damage came in. Uh, yeah, I was going to say <laughs> an indicator. Maybe the Paperx are happy to continue slowing things down. It's not with this early presence shown towards B. It's quite not committed just yet, though. No, still, still around. Made its cross over towards the door, so it could be again looking to explore, exploit that C site. Seek is going to come in. Zelsis needs to evacuate the site here. Monyet is commanding all this space. Yeah, this he's is following that so he got all the way he can. Gonna post it. Doesn't get what he wants from it, but he's still, he's got them all of this safety! And wait, John QT just got two back! Something wait, tense! Oh wow. my god, what just happened this round? Drifting alongside each other. But it comes down to two. Devi and Forsaken with the time on their side. Ten still alive, takes a TP. John QT and Zekin nearby now. Forsaken. Dicey way to play, but caught off guard, exactly. Tens goes down. Now information free flowing from the ult. They're gonna note it, they're gonna see it. Forsaken needs to deliver on it, he can't. Zekin takes him away, Devai. His moment to shine. Can he hold this? Yes, for the first he can, the second, absolutely, Devai! Taking Paper X with a second now. Yet to get on the board, but three kills on the round to find the Red Bull clutch, Lauren. Beautiful stuff from Devi, and one of the biggest criticisms being, you know, the value that Paperx have been unable to find on the back of his utility here in the post plant. Everything that he needs to convert this round. And Odin on top, salt in the wounds for Sentinels. Feels like it's going to be such a volatile matchup between these two. High tempo. But again, looking Careful. at Paper X here, still showing a little bit of caution. That pace change that came in after the timeout, once the buy came in, has awarded them two good rounds here. The question then becomes does Sen have an answer? What do they have back to this? And again, the adjustment in place here, Mike, we're seeing tens back towards that seaside. So Paper X trying to set a paranoia in motion off this spy camp. Yeah, that's it, you went on Zekin's checked it. Sassy's the one to find the first Zekin to follow up. That's a two for two. Does he get away? Wow. No, Mind Freak, what a shot. Cover going out. A Catching Zekin in the heels, shot. yeah. Midway as he was trying to get out of danger. And this time it's the two for Sentinels. Does Devi catch? I don't oh. think he caught him all. No. My word, Tens has been played in here. A second time, he's in a really awkward spot. Smoke behind him. He's not noted any player. He's going to hear the door turn. But the question mark of Mind Freak again. That late round positioning. Oh my God, Zelsis. Slides in and finds Mind Freak. You got a 1v2 in you here? Well, not available. Yeah? Tough in the 1v2 to really guarantee value off that. Something posted up with the operator. You can see on the X-ray here, Divide looking a little curious towards Spawn as well. Still got a flash to work with in the hands of Divide. 
There it goes. Didn't catch towards CT, so eliminating the options, and maybe Zelsis. Yeah, he's thinking wants now he's doing what, Yeah, he wants to play off that. But it's not like Devi has turned his eyes away from this and the potential of a taste of the own medicine waiting around this corner. Zelsis, you can hear the spam. He wants it back. He's not going to get it. Devi showing him how it's done. And Paper X, they're clawing back into this after what was a near on flawless start from Sentinels. Crowd wants it. Yeah. Starting to get behind them now. A run of three rounds. A really bizarre exchange here, but it's Mind Freak to find two on the back of this. Make that a third onto tens as well. In fact, he stuck around there yeah. after that smoke, the dog, the clear, everything. They still considered it. Very heads really up. heads up. Jinxed. Of course, we jinxed. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a quiet cast. Anyway, <laughs> back into this one. It looks like maybe a brawl begins. Now, Tens, remember that classic in hand, what he was able to do from here. That first glance back at him on the international stage certainly enamored a lot of us. But for now, no test. Paper X show a little presence, but then peel away. Something a little desperate for this opener. Zekin not going to give anything away, actually. Something wide swings onto the angle. Zekin to punish. Open a found here. here. Just result in 10 posting up a little deeper here. Zekin already hitting preemptive rotation. Oh, Monieto. That's the pit down. Oh, He's got a second. Oh. What a start from him into this one. And a catch for Forsaken on the other side of the map. A whole new team born here for pay breaks. They needed a comeback, they needed that resurgence after the start, and they got it. They got it in spades here. Locking down the site. That's a problem for Mindfree, gotta be cautious now. Just about slips away before Sassi crests the corner, trying to get involved, trying to get a little dangerous, but only gonna catch one, leaving second in a world of trouble. Mon yet that time. Puts his name up in lighter boots, Paper X, at a tied scoreline, four apiece. And this is interesting as well to see Paper S capitalize so quickly. Something falls, you think it's almost a disaster here to lose your duelist in this sort of scenario. Operator as well. Enemy remaining. Alex was talking about this that Paper X's struggle has been capitalizing on these times they can find, really having the confidence to go all in on these sort of plays. Perfect example here. Just at the right time as well to tie things up for a piece. That's just shattered the economy of Sentinels now, forcing them into a timeout. Time for the coach to check back in, see what's going on. What did they adjust? What did they do after that timeout? Total tempo shift, great approach. You saw those small adjustments not quite landing. We're switching up, you know, where Zelsis may be, where Tens is. Paper X looking lively now. Benefit a couple of ultimates coming online here. Good turnout today as well. Absolutely. Very lively in the crowd. Always good to see the split between the two teams as well. A lot of Sen fans, a lot of PRX fans. It felt Paper X favoured. It did, it did. <laughs> it did. Maybe the cameraman's finding them for now. We'll see if it turns around. But genuinely, Paper X winning the hearts and minds of everyone, I think, over the last couple of years. Hard to not enjoy watching them, their story. I mean, that, that's it. It's the age of, right? They're, I still think they're the most entertaining team to watch, but also at the same time, they can be the most frustrating to oh, watch. Oh, I'm certain. They can be the most heartbreaking to watch. Yeah. Well. Truly that any given Sunday team. Like I said, though, Operator back in hands for something. Bladestorm available, Seekers, the TP for Mind Freak. Plenty of tools at their disposal. Cover going out. And again, we're looking for those beginnings. Something drifting quite deep towards this, actually. And remind yourself, note. This operator could be a prized possession here. Got to be careful to not give that over. Sheriffs, ghosts, bits and pieces, a bucky or two. Oh, to be careful now. And actually, it's only him. He's drawn the entirety of Sen. Now, this round, not the one to be calling the adjustment, really. To be too worried about is when the buy comes back in. That's where you want to look for the adjustment from Sentinels. But for now, it's looking like a very a very likely round for Paper X here. So, I mean, Sassy would have been the only one to really contest this. 
Still over towards B site here. Slowly the rotation coming right. through. From Sen. I mean, Zekin's one off the showstopper. A chance to really swing this back in their favour, but it's going to take an awful lot in a 4v5. A couple of overcommitments from Paper X. We haven't seen that so far. Something to want to shut down Sassy finally. Uh, his work on the operator has been divine. Oh, Zekin, though, flies through the air, but how do you get rid of that back line? Well, you're doing a little bit of damage, but not quite enough to knock him over. Still standing, still breathing. Paper X unaffected and forsaken. Going to find John QT. Actually, Paper X now a full house of ultimates. And relying solely on these gunfights. And I'll be honest, getting really into the groove now of the map. Firmly in control. Even on this anti-eco here. And something in a position to create some sort of threat. And a massive gap on the other side of the map. See if Sentinels really have a response to try and shut down this operator pressure. Previously mentioned, showstopper in hand now for Zekin. Sassy and Zelsa still have their ultimates to play with. Looking for a response here from Sentinels. And the adjustment looking towards A. Yeah, and as previously noted early on, it was John QT here really yes. layering Zelsa's utility very well. I mean, no secrets about this. The spam coming through from Paper X. Alarm bot dealt with. Already see this rotation coming through. Oh, this could be a nice ult, though, coming in. That should catch a fair few. Do they try and springboard off this? No, they flex a little towards that B side. Sassy's so got to be careful. Monette just working in the dark. Couldn't see a thing. Gets caught by Zekin. The site, I don't want to call it safe because they can play back to it. Already, lockdown going to come in. This puts PRX under the gun a little now. Going to have to pause. You can already see Sen looking towards where that next flex point for Paper X would be, and it is through that B site. Sassy confirms that he knows he's close as well. Great work from Paper X. Dismantling. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I thought he got away with that for he a threw second. threw him. <laughs> Didn't quite do the damage he wanted, but Mind Freak's still hot on the heels. They are playing so slippery, and they've gone back towards A. They've got that spike down. Paper X are taking fights in their spawn. Something going to slow the roll a little, ease off a touch. The Sassy now has to re-clear if he even wants a chance at this. Something in Devi resetting now. Plenty of utility available. Oh, something and Devi actually, yeah. Trailblazer's going to come out very late oh. on. Something swings onto the angle. And Paper X find their sixth. And this is the sort of round that, I'll be honest, has been lacking. Just at least the consistency of these sort of rounds. With it, there's five or six different things going on. Yeah. And Paper X are just placing question marks everywhere for Sentinels. No tangibles for them to really cling on to. A beautiful shutdown from Mind Freak as well. Got to say it, Paper X looked really on the money today. Yeah. Mechanically, I, I mean, that sounds silly to almost say it, but they look deadly. And to be doing this to the likes of Zekin, who's been having an, an excellent tournament in my mind, having a really good performance. I mean, John QT as well, outstanding to the eye. Ev every single one of them, they are very solid. But a pace change potentially. Let's see what Monyet does with this. Has an opportunity to play this out, drawing a lot of eyes just towards him. Support is there, but the spike's not committed. Spot out here. Ooh, forsaken, nearly catching. The spam through onto Zekin here but have been rewarded time and time again for these sort of punishments. Finding a peak, the push and pull across the map, creating opportunities for them. Coming out, looking to posture a little outside C. I mean, it's it's drawing Sentinels perfectly. <laughs> I mean, look at the X-ray here for Forsaken. It's, it's everybody but them, tens. Uh, this is the sort of thing that happened in yeah. the previous. Sentinels just didn't know where to stack. Completely misreading the situation. Well, I guess maybe not even misreading, laying on pretty thick with the information they are given. And Tens is noted. The only defender of the site gets found. He falls away. They, and of course, Paper Ace don't know the level of success they've <laughs> <Yeah>. had. <laughs> If anything, that could cost them because peeling away. Look at the positioning. Look at it the It definitely will. Yeah, with Zelsa dr drifting up this deep, it, it definitely is to their detriment now. They had that A site on the platter and they didn't even know it, but they also don't know about Mon yet. They haven't spotted him yet. The utility didn't reveal him. That time it does, and so now the position is given up. Well, should be given up. This man is stubborn in approach.
you can see why. Just punishing Sassi. And Zen looking flat on this retake so far. They need something to set them in motion. And that's it. That's what the doctor ordered. Sentinels taking back some of this site here. My catch didn't get affected, but tens too quick on the trigger. And Sentinels starting to deliver. Gonna get themselves up towards five here. Finding some answers. But we saw that tragedy almost in motion, Mike. That site was ready for the taking. And Paper X didn't even know it. And it's only spotting tens, which I, I guess they're identifying either Zelsis or John QT as the site anchors. But uh, time and time again, we've seen them buddied up. It's them really stacking utility together. So the fact that they identify tens here with Mind Freak's TP, so they're almost victims of their own success. Yes. Forcing everybody over towards C on the side of Sen. Trying to catch a timing onto B. And like I said, Zelsis really going to be the threat in the back lines there. Because he can confirm they haven't rotated all the way back through spawn. And it's just, it feels like a different game every single round. You don't know quite what you're going to get here, but early intent going to be noted from something. Slipping a little further ahead, but a second to check on him. Catching him, just slipping through towards door. Good trade though, Monnet going to punish tens. Does second get to keep his life? He does this time. So still two on the site. And a one for one trade at the very start. So switching things up and really digging their heels in now outside rubble. Contesting this space now, slowing Paper X's early round. New map here though. Seconds actually repositioned in towards tree. Not been there previously. The possibility actually of comboing up here with Sassy. John QT elsewhere has found one second to find Mind Freak as well. Sentinels looking to tie things up for the half here, Lauren. Yeah, looking rather likely. Devai, Monyet, at least they're going to get a heal, right? So. It's him back towards fighting form. Still got the pain shell. Still got some bits and pieces to work with. Can he get played in? Sentinels thinking better of sticking around the site. Why let him hit that play? Why give him a chance? Respecting Paper X. Gonna maybe work back in 30 seconds through stairs. Do they catch the timing on this? Does the spike get planted safely? Monyet is trying to keep this plant safe. No response from CT. And then the shots. That's enough. That's raised the alarm bell. They swing back in. Device gone down. It's Mon yet to try and do the impossible. 13 seconds and the dream not going to come true this time. Sen tying up the score. Six apiece. Switching sides. I mean, almost a little strange to say, but beautiful recovery there from Sentinels to get Absolutely. the last two on the board. Six in a row for Paper X. We'll talk about the early timeouts, but this is another example where really able to adjust perfectly. I see that step up in, in tempo, in, I guess, aggression, really catching Sentinels off guard and finding some beautiful reads across the map. This is the level of game I think we both wanted to see. The best from both sides Absolutely. being shown here. High quality action on just the first half. I think Sideshow has something for us. It may not have looked like it, but that was a pretty successful defense half by the numbers from Sentinels. And I want to walk you back to the bonus round to try to show you how it all got started. So as you can see, bonus, low weaponry happening here. And we take a look at what the game plan is. Nobody's heard anything around Rubble, so they tap this out. There's only two options here. When you don't hear anything Rubble, it means it's a trap play, or it means that they're playing passive. They tap the door, it's certainly not a trap, otherwise that would have been baited. And I want to pause here just as we get to the second door opening and highlight the Killjoy utility. This KJ utility, not in a common spot. It's not to stop them getting into tree, it's to segment off something from the rest of the squad. So as we play this out, you'll see what the game plan is. John Cutie comes over the, for the fast rotate, and they know that this jet composition likes to prime dash and get into the site to break crossfires here. Zelsis is not trying to fight it. They pop Nano Swarm. There's a snake bite. Look at the timing. I want to show you that again. Look at the timing of this double swing to punish something. And the other duel is coming in at the same time. It could not have been more perfect to shut down something Ammonia to open things up. Good anti, got them started with a 4-0 lead. And with a slight recovery towards the end of that, this is now Sentinels in a good spot at a 6-6 half on an attack-sided map. So they've managed to do the work they've put in, and despite all of the best efforts of Paper X, they've found themselves in a decent spot. So we'll see how the attack side goes. I'll send things back over to Pansy and iPod. Yeah, thank you so much for that little reminder of how good some of these rounds have been. You know, very much early in the series, it feels like this entire match so far feels you could segment it in different ways and take totally different things away from it. So many ebbs and flows to this series already, and we've only had one half and a best of five. We're in for a tree here. Let's get back into the action. 
Is it enough? Six to six. Can Paperx hold on to this scoreline? Or is this enough for Sentinels to close in now further on map one? You might even see a little bit of aggression here from something. Yeah, alongside Mind Freak. Sniffed out pretty quickly, though, by Sassy. And that'll be the all of Sentinels on red alert now. As I say that, Spike already drifting back over towards Rubble, and all these three oh. members of Sentinels ahead of this. Beautiful time for Sentinels to really find contact on Mound and allow a little bit of time here. Forsaken got to tread carefully here. Yeah, he's on a platter, and I love that. Little information, that fact finder just tapping the orb over there, drawing out that little trap plate. And the instant response, pretty quick though, they right. have responded very quickly. There's three on CT, They're make it flood. four. They are going to go back in on this. They want a brawl, they might just get one. Sent on the other side, going to eat the paranoia, though. They're in trouble. Here's that battle. One for one trade so far. Flash going to set it in motion. They swing around the side. Something goes down, but Might Freak succeeds. The downer just won now. Might Freak, that three, needs another. He's, the boots They're both are low. low. 21 HP. Oh, he's gone. Might Freak, fight second and gets Paperx there first on the second half here, claiming the pistol, but that was just brutal between the two. No hesitation whatsoever from Paperx. Like I said, Done. it was the perfect time Spike for Sentinels Spike. to catch some level oh. of contact over towards Mount. Beautiful One work from Mind Freak. Remaining. But the fact that everyone's on the same page, Lauren, the call is made, and they're even here ahead of Sentinels finding the plant. How wild is that? Because I thought Sen had the perfect response, right? You had that little bit of a bait over by the ult orb, and the second that that door swings, that paranoia Sen, all of that's flooded in. Brilliant. Run it, A, and they get what you thought was going to be the safety plant. It wasn't the case. Somehow, Paperx beat them there. I mean, I guess they're called W Gaming for a reason. Quick as hell. Adjusted on the fly very nicely. But a buy back in. Yeah, set up to get. I'm curious whether or not this continues through the buy rounds. Forsaken. Up on a platter here, the solo anchor towards C. Oof. He's had a lot of stress in this game already. Going to note that. Slips ahead of it. This is a really nice reposition, potentially. Goes unsure. He's been spotted now. They found him, prying him out of position. But he's alive so long. Look at the, look at the rotation come through. They're almost here. The cavalry's on the way. But Zelsis, could he do the gatekeeper to this? He can keep them back. He absolutely could for the first, but not the follow-up. Paper X. Answer back in kind, Spike leaving planted. just suit two with Sen. John QT and Zekken. Bucky. Rough. No satchels left for Zekken, so he has to hope somebody walks up to him. Didn't catch on the flash, so maybe that position doesn't get fully this considered. This could be heartbreaking for something, though. He's getting so close here. The smoke goes in, plays Zekken a little closer. When Mind Freak's watching. Does he go for this? It's all on him. It's too much to handle. Something was ready. Mind Freak was watching. It was perfect. Another instance of Sentinels looking for a force here and a pacey hit. Stars aligned for them, they find the site that Forsaken's on, but he stays alive so long there. Sentinels have to do a ton of work to dig him out of that position. I mean, the benefit being as well, there's only one person on that side, so they don't even really get a, a, a big upgrade from that. I think it was a spectre that Forsaken brings into this. Yeah. A rifle could have been a very different situation. Bucky again here for Zekken. SMG and a Sheriff and Light Shields for Sentinels. We are seeing a different setup this time, though, Forsaken over towards B and just the utility to hold down the fort, but same stack once again for Paper X. And you can see that Bucky flying on in. Zekken gonna just delete Forsaken, huge Seven impact. HP. He's still standing, though, and that's all that matters. There. That's going to allow the plant a Bucky and a couple of satchels, and they basically get to clear Forsaken. Like pressure is under last time. As said, his survival was the impressive part. Now, do they have what it takes to withstand this retake, though? You've got a Bulldog, yes, with tens. You've got that Bucky on a barely alive Zekken, a Stinger on Sassy, and a couple of classics. On the other side, a couple rifles in play. Zekken might be played in again here. I have another chance, something though. Knows better. Thinks ahead. One for one trade out. Players still favorable towards Sen, still having numbers here. Monyet gonna take away tens. Something looking to springboard back in. They've got to deal with CT here. They've got to try and clear him. There's so many players there though. And Sentinel's digging the heels in. The view's taken away. Oh, John QT! Against the odds. 
beautiful work from Sentinels. A Bucky and a bit of a dream. <laughs> and it's enough to get themselves back in the game. Those light shields enough to sustain here. A round three flip. I mean, it, it feels like here as well, there's a real chance the Sentinels get locked One back out of this end. site in the post plant. With so many bodies stacked up and only Zekin with the Bucky up close. Luckily, Utility running things down and John QT finding two crucial kills to close things out here. Already early progress, going to give something to Bladestorm here. And it's something. So you know he's not going to be sitting back. He wants in and press the corner just. Ton of space cleared and crucial information here. But do they go back through? They're going to re-clear this. And they've taken the space away again, but still they have to deal with something. The alarm bot over towards Rubble. Almost an indicator that Sentinel's going to leave that space open for Paper X, but they are poised outside it. Paper X are here, and they are here in numbers. They've left something for the weight of the world on towards C, and they've stacked with the lesser weapons, the scraps that they could gather, and look at this trap that's been set to Vi. Could do some damage here. He's only able to get one and send just power on forward. Perfect clear. They take on the challenge, they clear him out and the site is going to be theirs. Plants on the way, but so something. How much can one man do? Four targets. Time soon to be against him as well. Spike planted. Well, two smokes to work with. Did he get that first step? Oh. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Sassy, going to hold that. Make sure no naughtiness comes into play. And the scoreline as close first, as ever. But no one is going to. Operator back in hand now for something. Bladestorm out of the way. Showstopper available as well for Paper X. But a couple of ultimates coming online for Sentinels there. as well. I've got a grasp now after swinging round three. Decent buffer in terms of the finances as well with that round flip. Lockdown being a key part of this as well. Look at this stack again though. Yeah, I mean, Paper X are just running this time and time again. Clearing the space towards Rubble. Retrieving this orb. Backing out and this time something going a little deeper actually. Grenade. Well, much deeper, yeah. in fact. But but the problem still persists. Forsaken still gonna have to try and do the best he can, maybe just try and keep control towards CT. You know, you, you're not gonna be able to take on five of Sen flooding your site, but you've got to try and pick somewhere to hold on to. It looks like CT's the case. An attempt on the plant, but Forsaken wants in. Oh, that's stunning. And away they the go, Forsaken! Clears sight himself! That's obscenity! What? what is going on? Paper X looking lethal! And the plant not in place. The lockdown's gonna come in. And now there's problems. Where the hell is that coming from, Tent? It's gonna have to do some miracle work. can TP out. Show me where you got, Tent. Something's already going. He's already onto this. The chosen one himself, Tens in a 1v3. Plant is there, but look at the timing, look at the pace. Something was quick to this. Oh, the timing not good enough for Tens. He couldn't do it then. Forsaken, magnificent in holding that, playing back through on the tap of that spike. I mean, both Mind Freak and Monyet getting two ridiculous kills yeah, here. Monyet off nuts. the first ping well, of yep. the Neural Theft. And this as well, Sassy just left out in the open here. See as well, I'm not even sure actually, that is wild. Oh. I'm not even sure when the Viper's pick comes through there, yeah. one of our Sentinels are thinking Sassy's going to be in a little pocket yeah. of that. Really unfortunate timing, if so. We have this round operator yeah. still, of course, going to be brought back into play by something. I gotta say though, Mind Freak's the one having an absolute belting performance here as well. On the other side, Zekken. Superstar levels of impact so far. Everyone else having a solid game, gotta say it. But again, that stack. Do they try and disrupt this? Do they put more towards this? Or do they accept that this side of the map is under Paper X control? Playing much deeper this time around. They're, do they're doing 4 1 splits, Mike. Yeah. This is crazy to me. It's working. Real faith in. The Seaside retake, and I mean, the desk was highlighting this really. You don't want to be there to entertain Zekin on the entry no. for Seaside because he's lethal. Yeah, he is. I mean, this time around, there's, there's not even a trip on C, it's just the cam. There's a cam in a cage, that's it. 
Probably you can see uh, Paper X don't want to even really entertain a brawl outside C. Oh, full retake. Whether or not Sentinels really are going to start digging a little deeper. We saw it on that round three force up. Here. Here. Certainly be thinking this feels almost too easy, whether. Here. Where's this coming from? Seeker's going to be coming in now. This could be the chance to start turning the screws a little. Paranoia posted, but this plays in Mind Freak. If anyone pushes too far, not the case. On still ticking, and no casualties yet to be made. Mon yet the first to really step towards the site. Isolate a fight, and something delivers as well. The clear back through looks concise. Zaus is on the back lines, though, now feeling the pressure. The plant's not good for this. Wait. Can I mean, they see this? Monyet finally gets taken off this one, but it is just on Monyet in a 1v2. A chance, but it slips between his fingertips. Sentinels hold on. Oh. I think John QT sends a snake. I just caught it before the camera switch there. A snake bite comes onto the spike. And at just the same time, Sentinels find crucial kills. That felt awkward because everybody on site just folds here. Playbrex again demonstrating confidence in this retake on C. And really the pinnacle of this being coming out of B, catching a timing on the door. Yeah, Sassy, a sigh of relief almost yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's a timeout for Paperx. Enough of a statement made back from Sen that they feel like they've got to get a bit, bit of a grip back into this game, Mike. 15 rounds between timeouts for Paper X. So Alex yeah. must have felt pretty good about what's yeah. going on. He's saying, obviously, usually it's only hitting the panic button when it feels or sounds like the boys are running out of ideas or, uh, I don't know, getting a little frustrated. I guess generally happy with how this gone. And uh, rightfully so, Paper X have up a damn good performance so far in the opening rounds here in the second half. But is this the breaking point, right? Is this. Where Sen start taking over the game. Starting to feel it out a little bit more. Starting to read it well. And again, those unorthodox holds that Paper X were depending on. I'm wondering if they go back to that or if this is one of the adjustments. That 4-1 almost. But the other the other side of that is I'm curious how much Sentinels have actually figured out on the other side of this. I mean, Forsaken's just kind of playing off the spy cam, looking for a wall bang with the Odin. Like I said, allowing Zekin to, to take all of this space for free. We haven't seen Sentinels other than that round three dig a little deeper, pushing into spawn, taking that space even further. I'll find you. Regardless, though, scope in hand for something. Two sheriffs, a guardian, an SMG to round things out here for Paper X. And it is that four one again. Not so fast this round as we do still see that. And a forced up purchase to an extent, well, a half buy really. The B site completely absent of any resistance. So Sen gonna take the space given to them, get themselves a plant. And I love this late lurk. John QT is becoming such a fun player to watch. Now, whether or not he gets away with much here is yet to be seen, but let's find out. Steps away, he does again. Always a backline threat, always that last line of defense as well. Exceptional at it. And this time, tricky. Those lighter weapons to really find much bite here for Paper X. Yeah, dealt with Zekin. Not gonna let them close. Beautiful, clean, flawless round for Sentinels. And we've got to see what the adjustment is now for Paper X. Really well handled. I think maybe that is indicative of figuring out exactly what the setup is on the other side of Paper X. Because walking into B site on an anti eco feels a little uneasy, Lauren. I see. Sentinels feeling that. Maybe Paper X are leaning on these stacks. I don't know if that's full confirmation. We have seen Forsaken holding down B previously, sitting behind this trip. But we do see a bit of a switch up here. Maybe this is on the back of some utility being placed, but Forsaken and something over towards C here. So it won't be there to greet it initially. And how do Paper X read that as well? Because John QT just got noted. Is that going to be, okay, it's just John QT, or oh, there's more to it? Now, I wait and see this contact on the B side well, from the utility, but... Seeing this makes me feel like Sen have actually read that B is the gap. Looks like it, right? They've not particularly sprung that quickly. They've taken a moment or two, so you will have Mon yet. Very close by. The paranoia is really good. That, that couldn't have been closer. And look at the gap close from Zekin. Played into motion. I mean, Monyet was out as well here. He didn't need to go back in until he'd maybe come out of that blind. 
And again, Zekun just played in again. This guy is just, as said, it's not just his mechanical capability, it's the team playing him in time and time again. Full faith in what he can do, and rightly so. It looks like Paper X are hitting a brick wall here, Mike. Two rounds now where B has been their downfall. Pretty late on in the half. We need to see a switch up here. Forsaken and Divide just looking to try and hold on to these weapons. Sassy might just yet figure out where Forsaken is. Needs to dip away now, but might even get caught by Zelsis. Oh, that Forsaken good for it. Okay. Very good for it. All right. Well. Oh. Well. 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 He was pretty good for it. Yeah. And then everyone dies. <laughs> uh, what's the money going to be like? I I'm kind of interested if they can get a full purchase for Paper X. Obviously, I mean, three, they're great. But... Yeah, three people are going to be able to get a rifle here for Paper X. But another round where Sentinels identify or seemingly have identified the gap here, the weakness. Unfortunately, this is the round where, uh, I mean, the previous round, sorry, is where we saw something in Forsaken looking to really try and absorb one of these Seasight yeah. hits and put a little bit of resistance on the way in. I'm trying to play him in a touch earlier here and send this time, deciding to go towards that A site. First time we haven't seen that stack Cover in play. And it's going to start investing the smokes, one towards top side. CT clearing towards tree, it's pacey. Sen uh, Paper X are here, Monyet is screwed. How is he alive that long? But second again, his name just constantly up in lights. And Tens wants in on the action, demolishing Paper X so far. Mind freak though, still with an opportunity. 2v2, making a 2v1. Tens just going around the world, leaving it all in Forsaken and Zelsus's hands. Spikes down in tree though, so. Forsaken resets it. Zelsis has to try and dig him out of this spot, Lauren. How does he play at this time? It's a good amount of time to play with here. 45 seconds. Zelsis. Takes a look close. Any of these corners could contain a threat. Forsaken. Getting interested now. Spike back in hand 30 in 30 seconds. seconds. Zelsis really toying with the timing here. And considering that cam check, that's maybe implying he lost track, but now springs the trap. Forsaken just plays it out so well. Zelsis may be thinking he had a window there. He absolutely didn't. A must win for Paper X, but doesn't really solve the financial issue. He's going to be struggling here in the purchase, potentially the utility behind it, but a beautiful Red Bull clutch here for Forsaken. Patient, composed. Forcing the hand of Zelsis. A chance here for Paperex to tie things up. Showstopper on the other side for Zekin. One yet does have his as well, but only a Guardian in hand for him. There's two Bulldogs to round this out. Talk about being a little concerning in terms of the economy here. That is the knock-on effect. That's a lot of pressure. Potentially on Monyet here, if they do can continue along this pathing. Look at the adaptations as well from Paper X on the minimap. Completely different setups here. And that early flash kind of indicated they might want to follow this sort of route. So again, Sentinel's trying to keep Sassy Paper X boxed in, boxed in here, yeah. The dog didn't see him. Oh, the po he still wins that! How does he win those? And now they respond, they know it's going to be towards A. You can see them trying to try and get towards the side. And oh, one on the other side, who comes out top? It's second! Of course it is, but the pivot, look at where Santa going. Something is here, TP back the again. Fake. Oh, it's just breaking ankles. Tens, can he get the plant though? He's behind the wire, he's almost in enemy territory. He's banking on second to keep him safe and he does. Does he decide to reveal where that plant is yet? Smoke gonna go up, they're so close by. This is mind games from Sen, the TP Look, they're, they're, they're pushing, they're pushing Tens. the smoke. There's two players, Tens stands tall, gets two. The kings of misdirection, Lauren. Absolutely. You can see the pressure building for Paper X. Question marks over Tenzin's whereabouts. No plant coming through. And Sentinels just freeze and cut sound. Left. You can't even One really fault Paper X. They're still no. here for when the spike is tapped. Yes. 
You can see the confusion on the face of the device, almost like, what the hell's just happened? Now they got to pretty much face the music on map one with very little to bring in. One rifle on Forsaken, the ult on something, but everything else is odds and ends. It's from the scrap drawer in the kitchen. This is rough, but they're trying to get aggressive, and maybe this is what Paper X needed. Oh, just dead bugs, just a bloodbath, and they're still doubling down. Sassy holds them away. But Defy, the triple aggress, what is this team? You can heal something as well. He's back, sitting pretty, but the Clutch King himself, John QT, ain't got it in him! Paper Just X ridiculous. with the most Paper X round you've ever seen! I was talking about the other round being a must win. Look at that! Paper X just throw everything at the back line of Sen. And when you think it's over, they go again! When you think, oh, that's got to be it, they'll, they'll fall back, they'll play safe. No! They absolutely don't! Beautifully done. The 11th hour of map one here. Timeout. Sentinels pump the brakes. <sighs> you can never count them out, can you, Paper X? No matter the odds, no matter the buy, no matter the round, no matter anything, there is always a chance. But Sen still sit at 12, Mike. They've pumped the brakes here, timeout. They do, and they've got the benefit now of obviously that previous comfort, I guess, across the last four or five rounds where yeah. they're actually still in a position to purchase it. A couple of key ultimates available as well. The lockdown, the hands of Zelsis, Sassy. So with the nightfall, so you could argue a slight advantage here. The paper X aren't necessarily <laughs> swimming in credits either. No, no. I mean, Monette's going to be struggling. A bulldog here in the hands of Forsaken. Give you goosebumps oh. this all around. It's map one, man. This is map it's one. Map one. one. Five. This is just ridiculous. OT or map one win. That's it. That's it. We got alts. We got a decent ish purchase. Functional. <sighs> Two more seconds. I want OT. Where are you? I want to go the distance, but you know what? This game. I'm happy whichever way it goes, but for now, Sen take their time. There. An early test towards A, but no commitment, and a look back towards C, but there's players up here. Sen's looking to get a little weird here, potentially. The back of the smoke, there we go. Hey, Paranoid, here. the ult this early as well. It, I think it only caught one of them. Mind Freak falls away. No, he caught both, tell a lie. And no way did Monya win that fight. Sassy clearing house though. Seasight on a platter. Blank's coming in though early, oh God, Sassy's something. reading it. He's made but noise. It's something out of anyone, why is it this man who could absolutely turn rounds around, gonna take down Zelsis. Sassy wanted to avenge, wasn't given the chance. It's a 3v3 and they're here now. They're ready for this. Forsaken in CT, joined by Device, still a flash, the dog and all of the good stuff. Something closing the gap. Oh, and Forsaken just walks in, knocks down the door. The plant's in though. John QT and it's Sassy, a he's seen both of them. Something, he's closing the gap, they're closing in. But the swing back, Sassy, John QT, they want the fight. Oh, it's something goes above and beyond for Paper X this round. He's up, he's out of his chair, and we are going OT. What a way to kick this best of five off, Lauren. <laughs> like I said, Paper X in the 11th hour. A couple of beautifully constructed rounds. Never down, never out. There is something about this side, Paper X. Because Sen looked teed up. They started to get that run building. They started to get that read. They were in this. It was looking like Sen were going to tip that scale. That start was excellent. And then the flank from something. <sighs> we're in OT. Of course we are. Map one, by the way. Just a reminder, if you're just tuning in, where have you been? But now I don't know where this goes. This is completely just, you know, OT is its own creature itself. Sure, Zekka knocking yeah. on the door of 30 now. Oh, he's had a Having a beautiful start. map, yeah. And something really, really bubbling up the last few rounds. Sentinel's back on the defense now. Hey, but Tens has been no slouch either. Keep in mind, he's been getting a little warmer throughout this game. And the early glance towards that C site has drawn a massive response. Celsius back in. Remember the fakes, Good Mike. Oh, yeah, a trademark position here. 
Apex with three outside B, gonna try and explore with the spy cam. So he can just leapfrog in. They get that trip down outside B. It was a late round piece. It's something here to try and destroy some of this utility and pull the rotation of Sen once again. Almost punished here. Zelsis. Is... a little bit of damage, but no confirmation of anybody else here. And Sentinel still with two players over this side. It's, it's only drawn John QT. Yeah, there's still two tens being one of them. Zek and here, the heavy hitters, the big two, the one oh! two punch, the Sentinels, and there they go, lining up the kill feed. You just don't want to face it right now. Monstrous hold from Sen. Was that the fourth or fifth flawless we've seen so far? And they're in rounds where Paper X absolutely run it down at Sentinels. They withstand these sort of executions time and time again. Uh, this kill is just outrageous from Tens. God damn. God damn. <laughs> so good. I mean, again, I, I guess the MO there from Sentinels is just stop rotating because we saw it yeah. really, really punish them a few times right. on the regulation half. but. No 4 1 stack here this time either, so another adjustment from Paper X. We saw them struggle on this side a little more. What do they do with it now? Send taking an air of caution. Rightly so, it's Paper X on the other side. And that three play stack is walking John QT. Are you ready for what's around that corner? Deep flash. No Simba doesn't know where. That's going to call back all eyes. It's a fight in spawn once again. The round that nearly kept Paper X alive. Tens, the one to fight one second on the follow up again. The headliners unable to stop succeeding. And now you look towards where they lean. Where do Sentinels take this? Just play Mind Freak in. You've got the paranoia to work with. Still two trips. Forsaken alive and kicking off these sides. So the benefit of this utility is still here. How much of it gets removed here actually from. Zekin. The TP, the TP is obscene. He let four oh, seconds! Do not let Zekin pass! You've got to know better! The man's a mechanical monster, and now it's just a vie to face the music. Map one on the line here. Sentinels looking large and in charge in OT. The time singing their song. How much can he do here? Sassi, Zekun, John QT, Zelsis waiting for that pixel to show that player to swing. And it looks like Zelsis will be the first to spot it. The follow up not going to happen. Zekun wraps this map up in a bow. Beautiful performance. Every single day, he's looking more and more like the MVP and with performances like that to kick off a best of five. <laughs> You've got to be so happy to have him on your team. Eight opening kills for him. Absolutely ridiculous. Heroics from that man, and it was still OT. That says something. If you're having Zekun putting up 32 kills, 10s on 25, you had those eight first bloods, all of the good stuff. What a map to start with. Don't go anywhere. Hey guys, it's Jimmy Lin. In this series, I'm gonna walk you through Attack on Pearl. Watch out for the stairs, clear this angle. You're gonna be able to fight this.
Red Bull gives you wings. guys, I'm standing right now with Kaplan from Sentinels. Congratulations on that first map. You guys actually fought this roster just a few months ago, I believe. How different do they feel now? Yeah, I think the biggest thing, they're, they're, they're the same team identity they had back in, in December. They're a very scrappy, very aggressive, emotional team. They can throw us off. And I think against them, it's all about being unfazed. When you get punched, punch them back and just stay steady going, even when they do some stuff that could shake you. Uh, the big thing is that the last time we played them, it was a much smaller tournament, an off-season tournament. Now it's the uh, Losers Finals of Masters Madrid. So it's just a test for the guys to have the same resolve despite the context. And I think they're doing a great job. They're getting there. And a BO5 is a really nice opportunity to work on that. Definitely, and eager to see more of that action. So let's get back into the game. Well, Sentinels, they get themselves on the board after map one. But at what cost and how tough was it for them? I'm back here with Sideshow and uh, Tom as we uh, listen to this great tune. It kind uh, of reduces the seriousness of the moment. The where it, it's like cut. such a tense map yeah. and then it just cuts to the music. Well, was it tense or was it electric and silly? I mean, that's I honestly thought you were going to say, was it tense, tense. or tense? Yeah. I was no. about to leave. No. <laughs> of course not. I would never do that to you. I would. So it, it was tense. Sometimes, Zekin, most of the times. But yeah, did you second. guys? Uh, yeah, did you guys expect it to be that close? 
I think any time where you get Paper X being that close to Sentinels, but Zekin puts up 32 kills, it's actually a good sign for Paper X. Especially considering you in particular and Kakuka were not feeling great about their chances on Lotus overall. Yeah, well, let's take a look at the aim lab shoot around real quick where we're checking in on uh, Zekin. Uh, Tom, I mean, if he hadn't dropped 32 kills, you would think maybe the result would be a, a bit different. But that, that's the thing. They, I, I feel like Paper X expected him to be utterly cracked on the seaside. They were even playing retake a lot of the time, just giving it up completely. Completely. But you even just look at that last round where he just explodes into the site and just immediately kills a player who's waiting for him to be there. He had a truly unbelievable performance. And as you said, if it wasn't for him, they lost that map. Yeah, remember that this is one of the players we're talking about as being potentially best in the world. But we're about to go into Ascent. And that's where Zekin tends to play Jet. This year, on maps where Sen play Jet instead of Rays, they are one and seven. So that is really low in terms of the win rate. But it's also because they haven't put as much time into Ascent, Icebox, Breeze. They've been their bands, apart from Ascent, which they've normally floated. So this is kind of in the middle of the map pool, but another opportunity for Second to show up. Yeah, thankfully, two of them already gone. So yes. <laughs> that's the yes. one good thing is that Paper X kind of helped them out a little bit. It's also the map, though, that I feel like there's the best chance for Paper X to truly be dominant. I think they've got a really kooky comp. It's one that they have a lot of set executes that's really sort of cool for them to play around. And also, although it's been something that's floated, it hasn't actually gone very well for Sentinels at all. Yeah. I mean, is, is this where we feel like maybe uh, Paper X can evil, uh, evil level even the playing field here after, especially what happened on map one? Yeah, definitely. I think their players look hot, right? The fragging that you're seeing coming out of them is really strong. They're finding good timings and putting pressure on Sen. On a map where Sen look a little weaker, where Zekin's not going to be giving you as much star power, I think his opping is and something slight. will. Yeah, and, <laughs> and something absolutely will. If you want to talk about the op head to head, something's got that every day of the week. That's the one part of Zekin's game that he's talked about trying to get up to speed at the same level. Whereas, you know, the Rays, he's just got like absolute best in world 10 out of 10 on basically any metric you could ask for. Well, we heard from uh, Coach Kaplan already. Let's see what Coach Alex had to say ahead of map two. Hey guys, I'm here now with Coach Alex of PRX. So uh, that was a really tough map. We saw the boys struggling for the first uh, few rounds and then around round four, around five, I believe things started to turn around and they started to pick up momentum. So what do they usually need to hear? What needs to happen or what changed there that got the ball rolling? Uh, I think Sentinel started really strong, you know, flawless as twice. So that was a problem for our economy already. Uh, we paused just to calm down a little bit. I think I had a bit of a discussion with Jason, you know, just so that we could refine our approach and I think, yeah, it worked for a while. All right, well, let's see if they can find that approach again in map two. A, a little smile from Alex there. Yeah, maybe they're confident ahead of map two. It seemed like a wry smile to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, we played well for a while, but we weren't able to close it out. Yeah, I mean, it was OT on a map that they weren't expected to win. But as we take a look at the agent select that's about to come up, Tom, uh, talk me through this uh, kooky comp that you were alluding to. Well, they play a lot of agents that ultimately most other teams don't play. A, a raise in itself is a little bit odd, but I do quite like the combinations they're able to bring out of that fade and gecko, make things a little bit more awkward for opponents. But the way that it, the gecko's played is basically a second duelist anyway. The way yeah. that something's going to be roaming the map, causing problems with the operator. And other than that, it's not really too crazy over on the Sentinel side. Yeah, Sen, they're playing a default comp. Everybody's strong on the roles that they're on, but it's not a map that they've put that much work into or found that much success. Look at it, 50% win rate on defense. That's actually not great for a Sen. And they've got to hold back the tide of Paper X. That's going to be difficult, especially when ults start getting online. Yeah, we haven't seen their ascent just yet in this tournament. Uh, they are already on the map, 1-0 up in the lower finals, but it's not over just yet. Here's Pansy and Hypox to take you guys through map two. Yeah, we've got a lot to be seeing here, Mike. I mean, map one was exceptional, right? OT off the very get-go. I don't think anyone is upset by that. An appetizer, hopefully. Truly. <laughs> Don't, because then what if it goes terribly wrong now? What if it all... I've spoken. Got, yeah. I've spoken now. Yeah, you brought it into existence. But do you agree with the desk here? Is this an opportunity because of those adjusted roles, potentially with Sentinels? Where do you stand on this? I mean, I, st I still feel like this should lean in favor of Paper X. I think they found success that's really going to reward them versus Sentinels. But the switch up here leans towards Sentinels, probably playing more towards a little bit of a retake approach. 
He's looking at see, setting up this. I mean, Paperx are walking straight into this here. The contact found. Delsis gonna throw the flash out, but as she does find the kill, one yet will fall. Paranoia in response, but not oh! found out yet. Another two classic kills for Zelsis. Yeah, the guy knows what's up. Pistol arrow out there. And now, what do they do with this? The fight in middle continues. John QT already addressing the presence. And Forsaken's in, well, a little bit of a pickle, really, isn't he? What to do? He clears the first. Second needed to be clean. He gave it a damn good go there. But first will be found by Sent. And I, I wait with bated breath, Mike. This game feels like I, I'm not sure how this shakes down on this map. The confident pissed around from Sentinels nonetheless. Uh, yeah, at this one, I'm convinced this classic does hit different. Has he been, like, he's been trying to help us. <laughs> he's been trying to help us the whole time. See a couple of sheriffs thrown in here for Paper X. One's a Forsaken. Actually, Devai, yeah, thinking better of it. Only going to be the one to work with here. Tens forced back early. Orb retrieved here for Paper X. They might just try and throw caution to the wind here. Try and get themselves onto a side. Tens with the opener here, though. Yep, no threat Struggling, yet. yeah, initially, but that's coming through a little bit too late there. Let's yeah, see if we can do any damage really for Paper X doesn't look like it now considering how the round started there right place for Sentinels good positioning deeper smoke as well they've got all they need Can they, even getting a plant can be very yeah, tricky yeah. considering the utility you know you're looking at the silver I mean, they're, linings yeah, they're, they're walking late late into the KJ setup here yeah John QT has been I've got to say such a phenomenal for this side yeah really safe pair of hands very very solid in what he does Probably just going to get classic here, but, you, you know, obviously, cast a curse, but he has been very solid. One enemy oh. Okay, okay. Surgical. Oh, okay, come on, second. Yeah, Paper X did only have those pistols, looking for silver linings, and there were none to be found. This time around, though, they will come in with Weaponry Mike. This is the time where they could do some serious damage. Another flawless to start off a map. Give Sentinels a cushion once again. Happens here. I mean, the Guardian really the only threat here for Zekin, whether he's going to look to play aggressive here. Quite close to the Blade Storm already, only three away. Where are they? Spike there. not committed from Paper X, so I think they're going to try and retrieve this orb, maybe. Where are they? Sniff out any aggression, but not going to come through. Nobody posting up close enough with these SMGs to really cause a threat. Wow, well, as I say that, Flash comes through, tens nearly. Rewarded, but caught on the wall a little bit there. Mindfreak, got to be careful. The drone's coming through. He's been spotted there. How telling would that be? <laughs> been lucky, actually. The Zekin's not posted up with that. Yeah. The moment there, where Mindfreak's seemingly not aware of the drone coming. Getting all this attention towards A, but I'm just keeping my eye on that spike. When I see that start moving, then I start paying more attention. But something, I'm going to try and build control towards tree, at least kind of test what's on the other side, keep them present and disallow that rotation, but it is drawing in Zekin towards middle. It's going to hear all of this info going. That is probably the goer for John QT to hit the rotation button as well. Paper X looking like that B-Lean's coming in. It's going to be on Sassy on the site. John QT probably CT. And Zekin, depending on where he goes, probably mark it. The cross going to be made. Spike going to be heading through. Sassy headshot, not enough. And the site is going to be there, so plant on the way. Finally stabilizing now. Paper X will find the plant. Only Mind Freak outside of this, though. A couple of players towards lane. Actually, a reclearance towards mid from Sentinels. Looking to maybe just stack up for exits here, honestly. Could do. Still got that paranoia on tens as well. Could be nice to maybe catch a couple with that. I mean, with where John QT's utility is, the turret and spawn, the alarm bot. Out towards Pizza here. We're still pressure coming through though. Paranoia sent. Yep. There's Mind Freak who's going to have to deal with what's coming. Zekin still sharp as ever. He's got a follow up as well. They're trying to make a quick dash for it to get out of danger. Ten's trying to turn up Hang as on. well. Wait. Time, time has passed. Time's gone. It's, it's everybody falling except Monyet here. 
Yeah, that's if they can exit with those weapons too, that's huge. That's two in hand. Do they can keep them? No. Monyet can at least deny the weaponry that could have fallen into the hands, but it's cost Paper X nearly everything. Indeed, you see. I mean, light shield and a rifle available for a couple of members here. Mm. The utility going to suffer as a byproduct of that. Gone. Yeah, it looked like they were just going to stack up for exits, but as soon as this paranoia set up, what was that second kill? One enemy remaining. Clutch. Find something, I believe, inside the smoke with the headshot. We'll give Zekin the blade storm. But Monyet also, a couple of uh, exit kills here, will find the showstopper. Zekin coming in, obviously feeling himself after map one. It's time to start seeing what Paper X can do. The purchase in the hand, we can see if Tens can get away with his life. No, he cannot. Monyet gonna put him away. Second gonna try and pick up the slack a little there. Spike en route, looking to be planted. They got themselves ready. Zekin trying to punish, stuck around as long oh, as he cool. could. Brought right back to the action, though they know he's close by, but can't do much to dissuade his positioning as it stands. And there's the swing, and there's the punish. One this guy remaining. is just something else. Sassy clearing the back lines. And what a sweep, Mike. Beautiful Thanks. from Zekin and Sassy somehow off screen finds three kills. I guess lined up in front of Jen here. A little bit of a head scratcher, but I mean that was with the free entry found for Monyet Showstopper. I wasn't even here in front of Jen, no. Oh wow. There it is. Early timeout, Mike. You spoke about it on map one. Not much of a lip reader, but I think I got that one. Yeah? Yeah. I'll oh, tell no. you after. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, I can mute your mic. No, no, I'll, I'll, oh, yeah. no, 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 no. We can we can pick up later. <laughs> yeah, early timeout for Paper X and Again, maybe an indicator of these sorts of timeouts where Alex is hearing something or feeling as if uh, they've got a total misread on the situation. Yeah. And wants to keep that in check early on. So I think a lot of people, if you're looking at the map, Paul would have said Ascent is one that it's, it's not terrible for Sen. You know, it's not going to be something that's instantly no, back your mind, but it's certainly struggled. not a strong point. Yeah. Exactly. It's not when you go brilliant, you know, it's, it's the split of there, you know, or maybe even some. It's not like that. It's not into that. that I guess, cusp. So this was a, a decent opportunity for Paper X. And I know Josh was hitting this quite hard on the desk. Obviously, one and seven on maps that, you know, Sentinel's played yet on. This is the starting one from Zekin. Yeah. If this is one of the ones that, yeah. you know, you struggle with the jet composition, if he's starting nine and one. Not bad. You are gleaming. Yeah. <laughs> Might be a bit screwed going forward. But, I mean, Monyet doing quite nicely on the other side too. Five to three, not exactly as much of a highlight in that regard, but not exactly uh, absent either. Uh, Devai and Mindfreak get to really warm into this one. It's it's not been a good start for Paper X, but timeout comes in. Let's see if they get their heads in the game here. Sentinels playing in Zekin again. They are trying to prop this man up, and rightly so. The paranoia being considered to be sent down. Uh, be Monyet on the receiving end. One yet missing the jump, whether or not he was considering the double satchel over the top there. Forsaken and something trying to find some space on shore, but the Sentinel's looking to re clear here, or proactively clear, I should say. Oh, something what? with the clothesline. What is that? And Monyet dives in. Paper X, the second you think they're out of it, they're back in. But Sassy trying to slow down the pace a little, carve out some control. Hunter's Fury instantly invested. Uh, do some serious damage to Vike in a fall. Recovered weapons in hand, though, and the plant to boot. What can Sassy and John QT do? Thrash back underway. Struggling on the steps, doesn't have legs. It's tricky. One enemy remaining. This forsaken to find John QT. Oh, mind freaking nasty with it. Oh, dearie me. Paper X, this team. Born entertainers. It's in their blood, Lauren. Look at this. It just... Oh. And it, and it, I mean, hitting kind of like Zekin's classic, literally, to be honest, literally. just full sprinting. A MasterCard thrifty hit from Paper X. <laughs> <laughs> a hint, a hint of emotion. Yeah. Just a hint. <laughs> That, that was, so that was the plan all along. I want. I need a gif of that. I need that just <laughs> like small little smile. Just, just happens. 
But can they repeat it? Wait, tens, tens, tens. Where are we going, tens? Oh my word! For a second, did you forget who he is? Tens with two. Massive impact through middle. And oh, second just wants back. The second that they've got to buy, I swear. This just goes completely up in the air. Game is ridiculous. Divine mind freaks walking through the I ruins of this round. Like, what the hell just happened? 2v5 now. There's going to be any sort of recovery in this round. Sentinel's not giving too much away. Zelsis is playing spoiler almost here. Slowing down player. Mind Freak's progress. Yeah, Sentinels are... Yeah, they don't want to give anything away. Look at the minimap here. Very disciplined. And again, considering how volatile the last couple of rounds have been, I think just finding stability is key. A breather. Yeah. <laughs> Sentinels. Can't let you fill off the gas too far, though, because there is still... I mean, yeah, paranoia, two snake bites to work 30 with. 30 seconds left. Make something and a, it. a good QT's position by the fact that utilities turning off and on. Can they do anything? 20 seconds, the smoke standing. drops, device lost. Caught the previous round, right, let's take mid away from them. Don't even let them creep on us. And when you have players like your tens, like your seconds, play them in. Operator out. From the gecko, it still feels so weird, you know what I mean? You're looking at it. It's but it's good for it. It absolutely <laughs> is. It weirdly works. I don't doubt it in his hands. But is it the solution? Is it the cure for their problems? Cover going out. Ten's looking to get interested again. This time from short, trying to play in second. Not gonna happen here, something's gotta be cautious. There's layers to it. Noting another, but does Ten's now swing? The flash is there. Ten's deciding to back away, probably rightly so. It wasn't just one in middle, there was three. Shadows traveling. One yet, the potential to cause. Some issues from main here as well. Retrieve the orb and almost bait sent out a little bit because these else's antennas looking for the clearance, but elsewhere Mind Freak finds an opener. Sassy will fall. John QT next on the chopping block. Kept in check by the utility. Mind Freak? Oh, heading straight towards CT. I mean, uh, with Paperwax, you can never doubt things like that. Yeah. But he comes oh, back. Dude, that's that. a kill on tens. He does that instead. Screw CT. I'm going market. I'm, I'm going to take the fight. And it works. It works so perfectly. And still with that middle control, and look at this positioning from Mon yet. The backline threat. Doesn't quite get what he wants for John QT. Found them. But something's closing in here. Alarm bot down. See the scope. Ooh, <laughs> that's a prized possession in hand too. You don't be losing that. He's got threats from all sides. It's like a tower defense game at the end, but he does eventually fall. Paper X find their way back in. That success, yes, in middle it started, but again, it was it was that pick towards B that opened up the gates. Very, very patient from something. You can see Sentinel's toying with the idea of a flash play out, but with no mid player there, and kind of the emphasis towards short, there's just there's so many angles for Paper X to hold. And when you're already noting an operator on the other side of one of those angles, it's just not tangible or feasible to do so. And the trade back and forth continues in terms of the round timeline. Looking at the paranoia, looking at the knife, this could be a goer. Do they actually try and turn on this one? It does look like second one's in. Has to finally respect it on the other side. Monnet willing to challenge. The reflash. And, and they're actually going back in. Divai going to put down Zelsis. Second trying to toy with them, trying to draw them into a fight, but they're not having any of it. Why would they? Ten's not getting played either here. Second though, isolating Divai. And now they're in problems. Monia has to get, give away the game, really, here. Has Justice to fall is back away. up. They actually get the res. Somehow. How the hell did they get the res under that? Somehow, Sensor's come out of that. Resing and Devi falling. I don't. Uh, yeah. You're, you're, you're. <gasps> this round. What's happened? Bizarre. My friend, figuring out where all the U2 was on B, though. Spike's on the way. But does that reveal anything? No. John QT still unnoted here. There's the the here. nearby. But I was going to say, there's a yep. pit here to close off CT. That's a real concern now. Right there. All right, something. Show us what you got here. You are on right guard duty. you got to somehow hold him back. CT not looking like the viable option. Wingman, I think. 10% in there. As I say, the poison orb goes up, and now Monyet can send the showstopper inside the Viper's pit. Goes for it. Again, it's still something waiting. They're getting close towards the stairs. He's isolated one. Mind Freak found Zekken. Spam towards CT and it's connecting. 
Sentinel's not getting the play and a great read from Mon yet. Predicting Zelsis on the playback through. Did he see him then? He sees him now. Finding Zelsis, trying to allow safe passage out, but Sarsi's position noted. They can escape CT or anywhere else they fancy. Well, they can run him hunting. down. They're hunting him down. Silence. Gonna think better of doing any more of that, potentially. Got a bit of cash to play with, but not that much anymore. Next one, don't expect, yeah, don't expect something to really be the no. one to chase this down. Mind Freak, 2600 in the bank. That does win out. Yeah. And, and the skin of his teeth, 17 HP. But Mike, the start of that round, I, I just feel like that was the most topsy-turvy outcome. Yeah, and like then I said, it went PRX's way. Sentinels this somehow come out on top of this. I mean, Deccan finds his skill to divide. It's just really, really bizarre to see that exchange, but remaining. that whole time Mind Freak is creeping closer and closer. Yeah. It looks like Paper X are willing oh, to nice stack one. up and fight for a main, and maybe Sentinels are thinking there's going to be one splitting short here, two mm. splitting short, so we have to be conscious of this. So they give up a little bit of space. I mean, they didn't actually note Sassy's utility on the other side of the map either. Right. I imagine if he had the Odin, he was looking to spam through B main. After that, Mind Freak catches the time. He can come through, clear that utility very comfortably. And like I said, no challenge coming back through from John QT. When the pit's available, they're going to lock off one of these lanes back into sight. You're right. And this is feeling like it's got echoes of map one now, seeing this is early timeouts from both sides. Paper X with the first, it gave them a new lease of life. They're back in the game now, four apiece, tied up all square. Sen just about pumping the brakes themselves, deciding we've got to get a grip back on this game. They found something that works. The cure to their woes, two consecutive rounds was enough that Sentinel thought, let's slow it down a bit here. Let's have a conversation. I mean, finally, yeah. the one for one back and forth. Finally broke. Yes. As we enter round nine. The TP for Divi, the only ultimate on the entire board. Rinse and repeat, but this time it's something here. Feeling a little more invested here from Paper X, to be honest, and it being the operator on the other side. But there's still two here to fight it with the paranoia. There we go. Gonna get caught. Uh, uh, oh dear. They How did that reveal ping so know. late? I don't, I, do you know what? Love to watch that one back. Tens can't get the round back. Mind Freak was already watching for it. The, the, the gates are open on A. This this has been a mistake and a half towards that A site. Something going wrong. That reveal just completely One annihilating the plan. Show us a replay of that start there, Mike, because... It, it comes so late on yes, as well. absolutely. And there's no power... I, I'm not sure how many the knife has tagged, but... That's really... No, he gets no. caught on the wall as well. Yeah. And then Zelsus is out in, in Narnia, effectively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, whether or not the trap is dependent on the knife or some sort of contact there. Because Zekin's kind of half in, Zelsus, like I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, once, once that initial domino fell, it was, you know, as expected. And look what it's done to Sentinels, though. The, the money's left in nowhere. They've tripled down on this, and again, an outplay. Paper X are reading this. They've started to really get a grip. This round isn't so much of a big deal considering the purchase. It will take the scoreline further away from Sentinels, but still. Again, Paper X showing some real viability of dealing with this A presence, that pressure towards main. Tens, you got some magic for me here. Not quite on the second. When it's him, I'll always give it a second of doubt. But as it stands, it's four players alive. Paper X plant on the way. Really only sassy. Then he saw the threat. Little bro still getting cheers. Not many today, though. No, no. Not the same. It's playing for the defuse in the second half. <laughs> yeah, just a sheriff in the hands of Sassy to work back into this. So QT will fall. Now oh, feels like a bit of a formality here. Sassy can find a consolation, no Forsaken. We keep four alive here for Paper X as they find their sixth. Starting to hit a groove now for. Yep without a response from Sentinels. Are we going to see those last two rounds come in from Sentinels? Another Literally, miracle comeback in a yeah. half to, to tie things up. Hey, if I get more of map one, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm fine with it. If get Give me another 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me another 6-6. Yeah, 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 yeah. no, I'm down. I'm absolutely down. Now, I yeah. want to see the adjustment, because it looks like Paper X have such a strong read. I mean, Sentinels have basically given up this They can't play it Paranoia again. play, yeah. Maybe a flash over the top, though, from Zelsus. Let's oh. see where he's positioned. Okay, is that going to do the trick? 
This looks like a pacey They're hit here with the snake him. bites. Okay, but you, I wouldn't... Does Zelsus get to keep his life? There's a lot of question marks about this one. The Paranoia Send, they're trying to stall this out. The Hunter's Fury, gonna connect. That's Divide gone down. That's an issue. Smoke's now depleted. Zekin gonna find the punishment towards Short. And Ten's getting curious, going for a walk. And they have no idea Ten's is there! The small adjustment making a massive hit for Sen. Last and maybe looking like we're on for another 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> Spoken into existence. I mean, the Hunter's Fury see so many examples of just how devastating it is on these fast A hits. If you don't get out of main, Yikes. the Hunter's Fury can do so much damage. Unfortunately, here with the utility invested so quickly, it feels like Paper X are a little offbeat behind the curve yeah. almost. I mean, the mosh pit lands in front of door. I, I, I'm not even sure who takes first contact here on the side of Sen, but with that utility coming out, you think Paper X are going to explode? Oh, well, it's like mine free kit. Left in tatters. Yeah. Oh yeah, monster on the loose. Gonna see the old coming out from something. Gonna clear through short. Who's behind it? Looks like Monyet be the one to backfill this and dive on forward. Takes up. Is noted by the knife, but I don't think they know the progression until now. John QT to secure this. Still 60 seconds left for Divine Forsaken. I mean, opportunity here to TP in and steal yep. the spike from under their noses. And that's going to be... And TP across, yeah, Again, taking that, no risk. I mean, a ton of time left to work with, but you almost want Divine to really bail out of that and TP on the other side of the map. Give them some sort of hope at converting the spike retrieval into a plant. Because John QT's already got ahead of this now. Still got his full utility set up. They're going to know that the utility's online, so they're going to know that he's back. But the ult, Mike, it, yeah. that could be pretty useful. I guess it's going to be the signal of how close John QT is. Does get caught by it, will respect it. This should be game on. And plant on 13 seconds. And look at the reload. position. Look at the position of Forsaken. Ten this is a left. risk, but it could be worth it. But there is still utility in middle. If John QT he falls, got pinged. Uh, this is so dangerous. Divine needs to live here. He's got to play this so there, perfectly. Though. Exactly that. So if John QT falls, it's game on. Maybe Forsaken finds something, but the turn of attention is going to be now. The pain, he's dropped. He's lost it. He couldn't do any more. Trying to make a worldly play, but Divine output in the hardest of situations. A 1v3. Not going to happen. It's all like map one, six, six. Another recovery here from Sentinels to close things out. A tied half when they're staring down the barrel of an 8-4. Mind Freak unfortunately caught off guard here. <laughs> Monyet just on a Paper X mission yeah, something with a shorty. <laughs> a little wild. But still, 6-6. Six, six. What a fantastic start here in this second map. Can't wait for more. But for now, I do believe we can check in with the vertical stream. Another 6-6. Six to six. Have I am here joined by a very special crowd. We have Chrissy, uh, Zoe, GB, and Fitinho here. Guys, I've heard that you're doing some vertical stream. How is the experience going here? Oh, it's a, it's a long experience, obviously, because we're vertical. It, the games have been fantastic. Like, it's it's been incredible. The, the crowd is amazing. The games are amazing. Couldn't ask for more. Yeah. Alex, I've heard you've been doing some casting as well. I, I've been doing some casting. First thing I want to say, Hola Madrid! That's right, baby! Make some noise! Love it! <laughs> what about you? It's been a blast. It's much, it's very casual. We have kind of watch party vibes, so we've been having a lot of fun the entire time. And we have a lot of amazing guests that are popping in and out all of the time. So we've been having so much fun. Podemos aquí hacer una invasión, Fitiño. Ya te lo pregunto en español directamente. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás viviendo esta experiencia? ¿Cómo estás viendo sobre todo a los equipos que vemos? A ver, está muy guay. Sobre todo el anterior mapa ha estado súper ajustado y las rondas han sido súper caóticas. Y ver el público tipo celebrándolo y tal es la hostia. Sobre todo desde aquí arriba es como... No sé, se escucha como el triplo, el cuádruple, es una barbaridad. Y hay muchísima gente, muchísimas gracias a todos por venir. Esperamos que estéis disfrutando. I was just asking him how, you know, what he thinks about the experience. He thinks that being here is amazing, that the crowd is insane. Uh, so keep it up. I want to know, guys, who do you have your money on? Oh, Gen G all the way from day one. Oh, oh but, but for today. today. Oh, for today. Yeah. Dude, she's I'm so still Gen just G thinking about, she's still thinking about the final. <laughs> Sentinels, I, think I want to see the rematch. Ooh, but do you think it's going to be a 3 0 or do you, do you give uh, Paper X some maps? Uh, I, I think it's going to be 3 0. Ah. Pick Alex. 
Uh, I'm going uh, three one Sentinels. Crazy. I'm going three two paper X. Okay, Kitty. Press the break again. Three two Sentinels. Okay, we love that. We're gonna toss it back to the casters because this map needs an end. Hi, Mike. What's up, GB? How's it going? Oh, look at I, that. I, when does the audio come back in? Have I just said that? And, uh, he's not even yeah, yeah, literally, he's just like that. Put that on the headset. But no, great to check in with everyone here. I think I think all of you at home as well. Hopefully, can pick up on this. The atmosphere, the atmosphere in here is absolutely wild. People really heating up to this game, and rightly so. It's been a cracker so far. Close first map, second already looking good. Paper X keeping this within touching distance. Sentinels getting back up to six. Finding those solutions late, somewhat like map one. Does it follow that path again? Sen now on the attack, Paper X on the defense. The gap left open here by Paper X towards eight. It's only Mon yet, Come really shouldering now. tree. Smoke will confirm the knife, the second layer to this, and that will call the rotation in motion. This one yet. This very early, actually, I'm sorry, a very late drone to come through and clear short here, and Monyet punished on the back of it. Caught something too. So good information flying back in here. Monyet down could be an issue. They know everything's coming from heaven now. Getting ready with a high flash, trying to counter the dizzy. Coming on in, buying a couple of seconds, and it does. Zels is now going to get that classic ready to go. Not going to be able to get the user this time. Forsaken, the one to break back in. They've cleared tens. Hold on. They're clearing the site. Zaken, how much can one man do? Not enough. It's on John QT. He's got to clutch up. And they line up. Another 1v1. How much can one man do? That's how much. John QT. Sheer impact alone has been off the charts. The pistol round protocols continue to excel for Sentinels. I love this delay investment of the drone here to really, really take that space away even more so from Paper X. And the pinch through to mid as well. It's that second layer, the security in this execution. No stone left unturned. Every time I hear that Red Bull noise now, I'm just going to think of John QT's face. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I'm just going to see it. John QT clutch. Honestly. I don't think he's got the funds for the sponsorship, wow. but he might need to get some. Like, you know. Uh, again, this round, Sheriff's not going to find any purchase really with it. A little bit of resistance, but not quite enough to really dissuade Sent. Parthing straight towards the A site. So we find three weights. Something play into this either. I what Mind Freak can do from here though. Last That's not standing. bad. Spike down want to show you something special, Mind Freak? You want to... Nah, not this round. He's chilling. Not quite flawless. Yeah, previously, good. I mean, I, yeah. I can't remember now, but the round twos have been flawless. Yeah, they have been. To get Sentinels a very comfortable cushion to kick things off. 21 and 8. I come back to that same thing earlier. This is the performance you want from Zekin. Yes, you do. On the weaker side of the Sentinels map pool. And that's scary, With isn't these it? compositions, yeah. So you might have thought you had a window coming into a map when he's not on you know, that raise, when he's you know, a little out of, let's say, his full comfort role, which, which is ridiculous. He is arguably one of the best in the world. I mean, coming back swinging from what felt like a rough day in the last series they played, yeah. a rough end, sorry, yes. to the series yes. is very uncharacteristic. It's been all gas, no breaks for him so far here in Madrid. Right there. And a re-hit going to come through Monyet. Needs to be, yeah, that's not good enough. Getting so invested, he wanted to find the information, wanted to take that space, but going to be I mean, punished. Look at, the, look at the spacing behind it, though, there was on the rifle round. A mistake made there for him. He's going to be kicking himself, because that's an upgrade Doxen's to hand as well. Down. That's going to be brought right on through. And something getting curious in middle. See, John but, QT's uh, position is perfect. They, they, are, they are ready on every single lane. The PRX want to play in. Sentinels. Looking like they almost have like a wall hack in this. Like they've read them so damn well. Sassy clears to Vi. Well, here comes the flawless. It's just Forsaken left yeah. on 1v5. Like I said, it was missing in round two, but Sentinel's looking to find one regardless. Spike planted. John QT. You can see as well, very early on, Paper X identify that he's going to be in these sorts of positions, but Sentinel's so well equipped to bolster this formation. Ah, well, flawless out of the window now. I'll find you. Can't believe we've done this to us. No more. <laughs> Relax a little. <laughs> mm. 
I mean, they got, they've got good they've funds got, behind I mean, this. They're, they're, they're laughing, right? They've, they've had everything they want and just those individual fights. So desperate to trade back that first, but once, you know, it's set in motion, I don't know what really you can do at that point. Saken will have to let this one pass him by. We'll find another one here, but 9-6. Paperx tapped out fi financially here. Uh, yeah, just a little bizarre. I mean, even the second swing here from Mindfreak, it's individuals trying to catch timings. There's no double swing onto an angle. <laughs> Not sure what page of the strap book that's from. No, probably quite deep in, I'd yeah. imagine. Is that scrap for mid? That could be. Yeah. That could be. Triddle play. Trid the classic triddle. Classic look. triddle. <laughs> Shit, they're good. Ah. Okay, Paper X, you got to get a little something going here because a very faint heartbeat that he came in with is starting to get quieter. But this buy is rotten as well. Forsaken, yes, the rifle, but the rest. It's got to be on his back, really, to make something happen. But they seem so prepared, so aware of the possibility. Ten's waiting for anyone to go try and find some information in middle. Does he spot well, Forsaken? Saken. Oh, Ten's! With the ego shout. <laughs> it's beautifully done. Here. Just for a second, you can kind of forget it's Ten. Yeah. You, know, you think, oh, it's, you know, well, Second's having a, a, a big game, all good. And then you just occasionally get a Ten's moment like that. Oh, Second, okay, no, he's got, he's got a spotlight back on him. All good, all good. Also noted the player in market there. The plant. Looking unfazed. I don't think there's going to be much to challenge. This round wasn't really going to be the highlight one. Spike Managed planted. to get that rifle, I think, off the body of Forsaken. So yeah. that's still in play. But there. what else can they achieve with this? Monyet, yes, a little bit deeper in. but Decent util, but a 3v5 nonetheless. And Sentinel's looking to play very active here in this mid they look. Coming oh, through. He's so clean Sends. with it. Finds Mind Freak. You gotta feel like that seals the deal on this round. One yet we'll find a consolation. One get out. Oh, caught in the heels. Divai looking to do some damage. Oh, poor John QT That's was rough. dead, yeah. The double headshot. Yeah. Double ten. digits found. Unfortunately, with this cleaner start from Sentinels in the second half, that 6-6 six, six quickly becomes so concerning. And Sentinels now, concerning. Another, yeah, another buy round. You're on 11, you have to give that up because the finances aren't there. Correct. We had investment in the previous, yes, the loss bonus will come into effect, but it doesn't bail you out of this sort of position. No. And it's been pretty clinical. It has from been. From Sentinels. <laughs> in the second half so far. Paper X a breather here, because this is the one you really want to see them make a stand. Uh, but just look at the funds. Yeah, look at the uh, I mean, Sentinels, yeah, already it's, it's 7K, 5K, 7K. Stacked up, one off the lockdown. The Blade Storm, the TP, and the Null Command. I mean, even here, this is this is absolutely devastating to be facing off against this, and you must win yeah. by round. Yeah, it's Forsaken's one away, sure, but it's <sighs> is that enough? It doesn't, it doesn't stop the tsunami that's possible with the with these ultimates being available. I mean, John QT just needs to retrieve an orb. The Null yeah. Command can get Sentinels access towards the site and. I mean, if you have the lockdown on the post post plant, Here, it's, there's so many options. Yeah. Looking like almost insurmountable odds, but we, we know that Paper X can somehow go around them. There is there is chance. Here. It's just this has not gone the way they wanted. Maybe thinking they had a chance against a weaker Sentinels when Zekka not on his comfort, but look at him now, 23 to eight. Heartbreak for Paper X here, not getting any play. Right there. Towards the end of this game. Little set piece to start with, so they can catch anyone here. No steps heard. No chance to bring into effect. Second. Not noted. Either gets played Still in. finds it. Still going to catch something. I mean, the time is just a little bit off there with the Prowler as well. Zekin's allowed to reset. I'll find you. Oh, does Forsaken go fact finding? Another he bite. Is. And this is looking like it's a trap waiting there, shouldered. He's got to be careful. There. Does he get away? Going to pop the ult? Are they going to just go off this? I think they are. There is another player on the side, but look at that! Zassi's caught him. Do they know about Mon yet? They absolutely don't. There's still a chance. Can he hold this together? Can one man deny the entirety of Sentinel? Oh my no! God! No, is Zekka doing that to him? Devastating play. 
just on the warpath. Sentinel's gonna get another here, surely. Mind Freak is already backing a little here. Given no avenue forward, doors shut. CT is not in their control. Utility on the T side approach. He's just got to drift away and face the fact that Sen will be at 11 rounds. And Mind Freak, the one with 1100 credits, you really don't want him to lose this rifle. And play hide and seek. And with a trap play set up in the previous as well, a lot of this utility has been burnt up, so that repurchase is going to look even more uncomfortable. I'm not sure how much got invested, but Sassy creeping closer and closer he loses, here. Mike. He's clearing everything. Sassy's just cleared wine. Oh, oh. round wing, go away. Okay, 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 all good. No one Saving else Grace. Yeah, and, it's, and, and that's the most positive element of that last round. The fact they got to keep a rifle. Sentinels have looked so dominant here. This is scary for the map pool. This changes. I thought, I thought I actually got caught on the utility here, but I think Zekin just swings as it ends at this second kill. Oh! Yeah. I mean, it looks outrageous from the other end. Yeah, but it did. I mean, that makes it even worse then. Zekin plays the timing perfectly here to catch something to open that round up. One yet. Doesn't catch Zelsis. Revealing area. Actually, that should just be the green light for Sentinels to hit yeah. B here, yeah. So much util, so much Mind scene. Freak has to anchor. Good luck. And he's committed as well. Gonna spot a couple of players here. They're gonna know there's at least two towards CT early. All gonna come through, TP taken. Dizzy's gonna be sent. Zekin's still alive and breathing, but gotta move. Can't make it worth it this time. Gonna get pinned down, something with the punish. But what? there's the answer right back. Tens and John QT in unison. Still a problem on the site though. Can Tens get out? He's got his TP. He's been caught. Mon yet with a critical down, kill. B. Gonna send the showstopper down. Paint shell run. to follow. But it's the spike being left there. They're gonna invest the lockdown. They're trying to fight for that spike. And get it in hand. Execution. John QT on the drive by. They're trying to stand and fight, but they can't deal with John QT. Mon yet falls. And Sentinels post 12. You peel back the layers and Sentinels still look comfortable. In some disastrous scenarios, the flash play here to catch the backside of this lockdown. Like you said, execution style. Uh, it's just beautiful to watch. Mind Freak, he said initially, looked like he was gonna have to solo anchor this. Another round, no response here from Paperex in the second half. Last purchase doesn't look pretty. Some ultimates to work with, but Sentinels. With the. I don't know, but Monyet's 33 HP already. Yeah, and, and again, so much shown early on. They're just going to continue this warpath straight towards the A site. Mind Freak has to dump everything at the front door to try and slow things down, but it, doesn't. it does nothing. No. Floodgates are open, Mike. That plant's coming in. I don't know what can stop it now. Dense. What are you up to there? Thinking about something, but. Decides against it. Flash in maybe from Zelsis, but he's got no flashes left. It's a f it's a fight on three fronts here. CT, you got tree, and you got the T side of it, but there's so much going That's on there. Out. TP away, Forsaken swings the site, and now here comes the crunch. Where's Tens gone? Is the big question. Forsaken still fights. He's free still main. trying to do it. This is going to be on Tens. You've got to see Sassy by time. He's got to try and play this fight. Oh, oh he plays so well, and they have no idea about Tens. Now it is time to shine! 13, Sen, claim map two! A photo finish here, clinical from Tens. He's the chosen one for a reason, baby. The second He's coming back. of Tens. Beautiful stuff. And a dominant second half performance here from Sentinels. What a showing. You thought this was a weakness. You thought this was your big chance. Not yet. And now on the horizon, Mike. Split. Horrifying prospect. This is now an uphill battle, and I want to watch it all.
Red Bull gives you wings. When life hands you bad lemons, try and make lemonade. Easy on the sugar cane, switch it to agave. Gave it all I had, love. I can't do agave. My condition's written out. Take it up with God, hey. You can bet me for my time, though. And it all on the high note. I don't like to say goodbye. Found out I'm probably Irish. Deep down, feeling down. Hold a smile like a song. Seeking answers, all I found is. Jump right now with a world cry. For the bang in your head like a whiplash. Can you feel that? All this back and forth to be free. But you can't tell me what's good for me. If everybody jump right now with a world cry. For the bang in your head like a whiplash. Can you feel that? All this back and forth to be free. You can't tell me what's good for me. You can't tell me what's good for me. You can't tell me what's good. Everybody moving scared. Don't know what the answer is. Told myself I say the word. Speaking like a prophet did. Shit just feel like stranger things. Upside down and overwhelmed. Chaos just to set you free. Chaos just to set you free. Deep down, still in doubt, hold a smile like a sucker. Seeking answers, all I found is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, man, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing either. All I know, I'm doing what's right for me. That might not be right for you. You can't tell me what's good for me. You can't tell me what's good for me. You can't tell me what's good for me. You can't tell me what's good. You can't tell me what's good for me. You can't tell me what's good for me. You can't tell me what's good. If everybody jump right now with the world crack. Feel the bang in your head like it's whiplash. Can you feel that? All this back and forth to be free. Cause you can't tell me what's good for me. If everybody jump right now with the world crack. was a fantastic second half of Ascent for Sentinels. They lead 2-0 in this best of five. I'm your host, Yingsu, and I'm back here with Sideshow and Tom Biz. Now, can anybody stop second? I don't think no. I don't think no. they can. No. no, they can't. No. No. Uh, do you have any further questions, Your no, Honor? No, that's it, that's it. Should we just jump <laughs> right, into Mount back Tariq? into the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to watch more of Zekin. It's just too good. It's unbelievable what he's doing. There are spots where his team perfectly sets him up. It's a great strat, yada, yada, yada. But you expect him to get, like, one, maybe two, and then he runs around and he's just murdering everybody. He is 14 and four versus Munyet right now. The duel oh, no. is off the charts. Dude. He's destroying everyone. He's got 280R over the first two maps. He's averaging. 340 ACS. He's plus 31. I, 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 I don't care about the numbers, but you just look at what he's doing as well. He's winning so many duels that from the Paper X side, it's just got to be flattening. Yeah, I mean, it's all uh, Tekken. Tekken, Tekken, yes, all Tekken right now because <laughs> here is Tens in our Verizon high speed moment. And this is a really uh, cool set play from them right after they lost a round as well. Yep, there's the flash, there's the recon. Tens TPs inside the smoke, sets up, dominates the first one because he's there so fast. 
I guess a second off the back of the recon. And actually, Sen were doing a lot of these early round aggressive plays. Not all of them worked, but it was something I think that they pulled from the game where Gen G beat Paper X by doing a lot of plays like this where they turned up the tempo. And that was straight from the Pacific Finals. They've yeah. done their homework. I think a lot of Paper X utility on that attack as well really works once you get into the execution. So yeah. if you just deny them any of that initial space, you can basically disrupt them. And then when they go on to their own attack, it's pretty quick from then yeah. on out. Yeah, I mean, every half that we've seen has been close, apart from the one you just watched, where Sen did not drop a round. Yeah, that was crazy. The thing is, for Paper Breaks, history could be destined to repeat itself. They've never won a global best of five ever before. But on the other side, though, for Sentinels, they were there for the first Masters, where they made it all the way to the Grand Finals. They won it. And uh, do we feel like maybe something is in the air to push them to another Grand Finals for the first time in a very long time? Something's in the ground. That's, that's what we've been <laughs> seeing right now. It is yeah. brutal. No, this, this is looking like a completely revitalized Sentinels. And honestly, I, obviously, I think Gen.G play a completely different game, but if you're getting Zekkan and Tens like this, compare them to the series versus Gen.G, and we might actually have a game in the final. I'm, I'm kind of already looking there, though, because right yeah. now, Paper X are dead. It, it's kind of, it's a little bit of recency bias in my head because we've just seen such a dominant half. Yes. But the problem is, even apart from that, Sen was still edging them out on the previous map. It does feel like Sen are going to another final. It does feel like Tens revitalized on a new role is going to have an opportunity to grasp another trophy or at least fight for one. And what a position that we're in he to have so many players that were there before and here now. He's back, baby. He's back. He's definitely back. I think the reason you guys are kind of a bit down in the dumps by Paper X is because map three is split. It yes, has to be absolutely. split of all maps. This is where you all, we all unanimously said that maybe they have close to zero chance. I want full whimsy. I, I want it to come out. I want them to go back to the triple duelist. I want them to go crazy. Yeah. I want them to play full but, Paper X because I think if they play the sort of more standardized version of the comp they brought out, I don't think they win. And I think the problem is too, the win condition in my head for Paper X was that they play fast and they get into good positions, which I think they have done generally across three halves that we've watched, but then the players are better than those on set. That you have like a limp day from Tens and Zekken as Give you me did Yoru. with Gen G. Now it's Ooh. just, it's gonna be the same thing coming out again from Paper X. And I really feel like this point is absolutely crucial. Zekken cannot be the best player in the server. No, he just can't if they, if they want any chance of winning. They, they have they switched, switched it up though. They have yeah. switched, it's the players, the, the, the comp the, the is the same, but Monyet's going back onto the raise, which Forsaken right. had taken sure. off him. The Sky now goes onto Forsaken as well. The De Vise switched it up onto the Viper. They, they have gone with different people on the composition. So it is another change, which- Yeah, great I, patch. I, I think it's, I, I don't mind it necessarily. The problem is Forsaken in pretty much all their split games has been the win condition. Yeah. Sure, he's still gonna be aggressive on the sky. Let's not be foolish. He's not gonna sit passive, but a lot of it was down to the movement abilities he had. He was, was able to get super aggressive on Raze. His Yoru was basically him just TPing into corners and wrecking people. He can't do that anymore on the sky. Well, it's a change indeed. This is it though. Sentinels, they are one map away from another grand finals it's time to hand it over to your casters pansy and hypoc to see if they can bring it home deep breaths now paper x last time we saw them at those big international events it was the last dance now this could be their last chance map three and mike it's split has the loss versus genji knocked the confidence of sen enough i mean can paper x reproduce what their pacific partners in crime did versus sentinels the questions coming in, the comp change up, well, I say the role change up, oh, yeah. at least. Definitely a question mark here. Not Paper X can find any sort of comfort now. A little bit of a mix up. The Sentinels though, kicking things off on the attacking side. Stack at the inside mail here to maybe greet this presence from Sentinels. Trade off of utility, the poison orb goes up. Sentinels thinking better of it. Readdressing B main. Taking a wonder. They put it all into the lap of Mind Freak. Still has that paranoia. Could stall them if necessary. And he's yeah. looking like he's getting it ready. Backing away. Yeah, there's a the burst on site. Gotta respect it for now. You're looking for the support to come through from heaven, and it's not really taking any time. They've done it quickly, springboarding straight in. Zelsis doing well, and you're right, they've denied the plant, but already Monyet with the trade out here. Zelsis is gonna get it back, and we're down to a 3v3 on both sides. Sassy! 
Spike Freak was right there. Spike You're not going to get out with a spike, but luckily Zelsus with a quick grab and a run. John QT's already in spawn, though. Look at this. Oh Ready to cut off this rotation. God. Surely they have no idea. Do they even continue? Forsaken was having a look. It's like he's checking for this. Maybe the lack of presence. Maybe. Considering it's John QT, they're thinking, where the hell's this guy gone? They found him now, but can he buy enough time? Can he keep him safe? Zelsus, cross. potentially, I'm looking towards Mind Freak as he, he's pathing towards heaven. He's going to hear this, surely. How does 15 Zelsus seconds. Run? Why do I feel like there's something going to go on here? Forsaken has found John QT. Zelsus put down by Mind Freak. Paper X. Get the first, but what a chaotic start there. So active across the map. Absolutely, a race. Sassy, yeah, Sassy unfortunately caught on the way back out trying to retrieve the spike. And the flood comes through so quickly that Sentinels just don't have a, a window of opportunity to try and find this plant. Goodbye. See Monyet getting right up in the faces of Sentinels. It's a good start, they needed that. Feeling like they were really under the weight of Sentinels after map two, especially that big run they went on. Getting around here is huge. Could unlock a couple more rounds to get behind for themselves here. Maybe put that reminder of that Gen G matchup in Sentinels' minds. For now, though, we look at what's in front of us. Uh, uh. A mistake for Mon yet. That's. Yeesh. You can see the pressures here, Mike. This is this is the difference. Again, play that round back a different occasion. He's not making that mistake, but here uh. we are. Need an SMG to go across though. What can Tens do with it? Uh, the Paranoia's landed. Device got to be careful now. Potentially a gap closer there. Mind Freak could get caught off. Paper X though, doing well, stabilizing. Well, the control what's on the side. Device got to be cautious. Six HP and that was the counter swing then coming in. Forsaken there, ready to pick up the reins. Zekken. Classics good. I don't think it's all. Oh my! Oh my God! I'll shut up! I'll shut up! Almost got scared. Something's Two headshots there. there. Yep. Yep. Accuracy buff. But 2-0 regardless for Paper X. It's huge for them. That's huge for them, Mike. Yeah, a slight fumble at the start here. Luckily, doesn't amount to anything, I guess, slowed down. Did you get that one too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah. I said, we'll, we'll touch later, base later. later. Yeah. I think the desk might even do a segment on it. Yeah, That'd get the good. subtitles. Yes, please. The lip reading challenge with Alex. <laughs> Dangerous yeah. game. Now. Can they do something with this though? Let's look. Paper X coming in with the outlaw odds and ends, but right side, right play, sent on the way. Rifles here, counter play down towards ramp. They want to take back that pressure. Monyet with a fantastic pickup. Dubai doubles down. Paper X starting to ignite here. They've got themselves into a 4v2. Zelsis and John QT have nowhere to go as well. Look at the flank position coming out from Mind Freak. This is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, John QT going to get caught. It's just Celsius left to try and recover this. Forsaken's low as well. Chance to play back in here now on 1v2. Oh, dearie me. He's not he seen Mind Freak. Flank, yeah. So he'll start thinking, where the hell's this guy at? He's ready. It's so well. Celsius, are you serious? After all that work, is this how it happens? And with 53 seconds, he's got time to play with. 19 bullets left, though. Hit in the back pocket. Something Chance. on the run. Yeah. A chance here to get the spike down cleanly because something's not moving too quickly just yet. There it is. Spread awkward, but something's looking. diving in. Very something's good coverage. Look up, look at his positioning. Surely Zel does Zelsus consider this? He does! Nothing can stop him! You would have said every day of the week Paper X would have that round until Zelsus had a word. Flips the script on Paper X. A Red Bull clutch here what felt disastrous for Sentinels to start things off. Again, even here, that Paperx do everything right to kick this round off. Then, again, the protocols just slip through their fingers, a little nice. bit forsaken, isolated as the second layer of that setup on ramp. And a perfect read on the flank. Even baits him in, a little spray into the wall yeah. to pull Mind Freak closer. There. Again, that was, I guess, the bonus if you wanted to look at it that way as well. So, oh, uh, that's a bigger issue though. Sassy finding something early on removes a huge piece away from the hand they were playing. Sentinel was able to comfortably reset behind it as well. Is this red? Very Paper X approach to readdress the extremity in the trade out may not be enough unless Forsaken over delivers. All right, that's. Flash doesn't catch though. 
Okay, so Tens has crept towards Pillar. Zelsis, the next here. Forsaken's got a fair fight and he wins it. Tens goes down and with 45 HP, he's got support. But Zelsis isolates him again. He's all alone and he's surrounded. There's no safety to fall back to. Asasi really coming in key this round. Clear all this space out. Devai unnoted, but only a Spectre in hand. One snake bite to work with as well, but a 1v3 nonetheless. Gorgeous. Well, the upgrade's Gorgeous. Found. He's expecting the flank. He's looking for John QT now. John QT's already created so much pressure previously. Has to re-clear this space. Time to do it, yes, but allows Sentinels to set up in a very, very comfortable position. Oh. Spy camp. Should be indicative now of John QT's repositions. Elsis, nice. again, the one to seal the deal. Sentinels tie things up to a piece. This game's done a warm up here. The promise pay breaks to their money. Not great, and losing out that early on something is uh, that's going to sting a little bit there. Still made close. Not close enough. Elsis up to eight in this game. Very early impact from him. Doing wonders. On the other side, Forsaken. Rather nicely for himself with the purchase. Mike is missing. Seekers available for Sentinels, but it's about all there is. One off the neural theft. Second, decent progress already. The other side, Seekers for Forsaken. There. This is now, I'm going to read this correctly, a gap in mid. Clearing all this space once again. Oh. Sassy actually finds it with the Trailblazer. Something with a response off to 10, though. Okay. Can he get out of this? Oh my god. They're running him oh down. Oh my god. Sassy wants him so dead. Finally catching him in the heels. I'm looking at the site, though. There's still a player to clear. That's going to be Divide. There. Is he going to find much impact here? Zekin already going to take. Did he spot something? I definitely spotted something. I think it was something. just to spam in. Regardless, Divide will fall. Mind Freak responds once again. 3 Okay, Zekin maybe overdoing it a little there. Maybe unnecessary to take that fight on CT. HP is going to be tricky for Paper X, though. Spotting one on the site, but that plays in John QT. Does Forsaken get a chance at this? He does. He knows that Sarsi is on the site, down by Pillar. What can Forsaken do? Tying with time. You can see the readjust from Sarsi. Did he spot him? I don't think he did. Forsaken has no idea. Sarsi again. More impact from the man. Good work there, but Paper X considering the purchase, still dangerous. Early response found here from Sentinels. I was curious about you where that kill came through. <laughs> I mean, one yet just caught up. Something trying to backstab this play up mid. Sentinels, no fear to chase that kill down though. Well, any threat develop in these rounds. Bladestorm online now for something. One away from the showstopper for Monyet. Maybe an exploration outside A. I mean, how much do Paper X invest to really dislodge John QT from this position? He's commanding so much of Paper X. You can see the adjustment already from Forsaken as well, looking towards middle. John QT is such a nuisance of a player to deal with. And the three plays stack in middle. Could be working its way up again. Displacing Forsaken. Has to respect it. Doesn't want to be taking isolated fights. Posting up Zekin into the corner here. Slow burn here for Sentinels in round six. Paper X finally now looking to explore the map. Paranoia through B main, orb retrieved, but here's the crunching. The ropes here, Divide actually gets both of them. Mid. Yeah, and that's the spike. Left loose, tends with a quick collection, and mm, considering what he wants to do, Monyet! Catching off Zels as they try to make progress towards B. The spike is back in hand, though. Tens yet to really make his mark in this map. John QT by his side. Left. And the map is treacherous. Paper X have good control across it. One yeah, beautiful one. from Mind Freak. Tens now. 1v5. First, found, no Forsaken's damage low. taken. Forsaken indeed low. Gonna drop down, trying to toy with it. There. He's come back, he's got it, he's waiting, waiting for Monyet to swing. A second earlier, he'd have had a fight on that. Yeah, only 10 seconds left, he had to try and make a move here. Three survive for Paper X. There'll be three ultimates on their backs as well. 
the timing a little off here from Sassy and Zekin. Paranoia in response, but doesn't result in a kill for Sentinels. See those ultimates we were talking about previously. Showstopper, Bladestorm, and the Pit in hand now for Paper X. Sentinels have a couple. The TP and the Neural Theft not as impactful, but the Showstopper in the hands of Zekin. Curious what the adjustment will be here, if any, from Sentinels. Maybe try and capitalize a little early on John QT's presence and pressure that he's creating. Yeah. So, I mean, previously, right, there's three members of Paperx there yeah. trying to dig him out of that spot, and it's burning up a flash from Forsaken. Mm -hmm. Certainly a lot to check in on now. Considering that if you look at the way this round actually is, it's the first round that they've, they've got back. It was three on the drop for Sen. The second it slips away, pause. We're back in. Alts to work with, but not. I'm looking at what they go financially here as well. For some, maybe just going to spread the wealth a little, just even out the economy, which looks exactly to be the case. But I see uh, Bucky was Zekin, so. Well. And I did see a sign for Sliggy as well, so I mean. Oh, did you? Yeah, I've seen judges, Sliggies, and Buckies, so maybe it'll make something well, of The crowd it. will get what they want here, at least with yep. the Bucky. There we go. <laughs> I hate that he's reintroducing this weapon. Yeah, no, it's back. <laughs> it's back. And he finds value with it as Which well. Does. Like, look at what he did on Lotus. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Problem here, because there's two isolated individuals on the side of Paper X. Yeah, this One yet respecting this now. Ooh. Okay. Not having the chance to close in on this yet. Long rotation, Paranoia not going to find Purchase. And neither does the art on the other side. Monyet did invest his as well. Back to back, Roses. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Hate to come up. Apply a little further pressure onto Zekka, but Mind Freak getting curious. Oh, Mind Freak, this is so dangerous. Against this sort of buyer, Rifle falling into that. No idea about Tens. Tens gets played in. That's one. Monyet on the run as well. He doesn't want to get too close to the Savage comes down. Sentinels making this dangerous. And now Tens with a rifle, Sassy on the site. It's a 2v2. Something takes a glance and he takes a bullet. Forsaken dives in. Perfect shot on Sassy. But Tens for 1v2, not today. Paper X, weather the storm. Utility just not connecting for Sentinels here. Paranoia gets sent through. Paper X wise to it. The awareness that maybe there's going to be. A little pop through into heaven. And outside of that, though, Mind Freak almost catching two players with utility in yeah. hand. It's not a deep enough clearance onto tens, but Paper X find their fourth nonetheless. The response oh, is here. The purchase comes back from Sentinels. Pitch shut down mid. Sentinels have looked to explore this consistently so far. We've seen that one through one. Run not every single round, but Mind Freak again. This is this is so dangerous, but I, I mean it's Paper X, right? A little yeah. bit of danger. Smoke gonna go in. Indicative that he's holding this angle, but there's so many bodies here. Mike, he's still taking the fight. Does he live? He does. That's ridiculous. How is he breathing? Paranoia sent just to slow it down to give him a bit of safety. They weren't even that close, but he gets away. The problem is it tends to fall as well, so it's only the utility really of Zelsis that train. can help them out in this, this situation. But it's invested elsewhere. Sentinels regardless. Force their way in. Zelsis actually finds an opener. Over here. Okay. Brings it to a 4v4. The heal comes through from Sassy as well. So it looks like the plant. No, the pop flash turned not well enough by Zekin, but he gets a second chance of that. Forsaken went for Zelsis. Zekin healed back up. Goes again! Second is absolutely ripping him apart this round. 30 seconds left. Has he got any more? Yes, he does! Second! What is this guy made of, Mike? The rechallenge here from something is just so far ahead of Divide. The Trailblazer comes through, clears some space down on ground level at least, but I think spotted here. Second doesn't get it, but Sassy, the one to close things out. Second's just been so solid. 4-4. Four, four. I, I just feel like there's still no stability in this match yet. In this no, match no, definitely not. Uh, I mean, there's a couple I'd... of really, really weird scenarios. Yeah. 
created a cross here, but I mean, Forsaken comes out solo. Something again after Individual. Mind Freak, yeah. Weird spacing on that, it felt. And where Paper X find uh, their success is in these very, very well coordinated floods where yeah. you know, they can overwhelm one person when the spike's being planted. Two judges. Oh, no. Yep. Yep. Good. Good. I mentioned Sliggy, and now there's more. <laughs> oh, tens. <laughs> tens, don't, don't go there. Oh, there was nowhere to go anyway. Divai could have find him, Paper X. Divai walks right up onto the wall yeah. here to find this. I mean, I don't know what you read from that as well. The fact it's tens, not John QT. Like, what do, what do you extrapolate from that information? And again, look at Monjet's pos yeah. positioning on the other side B -Main of the map. B-Main is on lockdown. Right they've now. given up middle, so they've known what space they've given up. They've taken this fight towards ramp. Now they reveal that judge. Oh, it's perfect. Something Spike denies all in. access. Ramp is off limits. Get out of here. You can have middle. We got the spike. We got ramp. What can Zekin and Zelsis oh. do? That, that was a filthy. Yeah, okay. Okay! Don't Zekin, give him space to work. Please! It's now a 2v3. Okay, Devai. What a great bit of timing to recheck on that. Got a little dicey. But Zelsis, have you got it in you? A 1v3, spike not to hand, 30 seconds, 30 seconds mind left. freak behind you? Surely not. Right? Surely not. He's being given no play. He's being given no opportunities. And there it is. Mind Freak on the catch. But that investment, that adjustment, Mike, that was wild. Well, see something finding everything he needed. Hell yeah. On ramp. It was just devious work, wasn't it? He Move held both. this close yeah. to the yeah. chest. Tens gets isolated from this initial play. I, I guess the flash catches on ramp and mm. there's a moment that they hesitate, reconsider the approach, and then he's split ahead of these Viper Walls. Nobody else from Sentinel's really able to provide much support. <laughs> it's actually Sentinels to blow both timeouts here in yep. the first half. It's a little scary to me that it leaves you very open, right? There's a chance that it could really get dangerous, but Sen has so many ults to work with, financially in a little bit of a tricky spot, but interesting to see what they go for. It looks like they're having a discussion as well, coaching-wise as to what the plan is moving forward. But Paper X clawing this game back in. They're not done yet. Map two is a little more one-sided than I'm sure they would have wanted, but it is what it is. But here they are keeping within touching distance. Sen unable to set tempo or pace or draw too much away. It could be potentially on for another 6-6. It, it doesn't seem impossible. I mean, Sentinels uh, this year sitting at about 70% defensive win rate. So I guess the approach maybe here is to play towards damage control and really look to stretch their legs on the second half of this. And it's where we've credited time and time again, the protocols, the retake success. It's where their strength lies here, but Paper X a one round lead. We enter round 10. This is scaring me because I'm seeing three players here from Paper X. I'm seeing the entirety of Sentinels here, alts galore. This could be bloody. Buying what they can, missing a couple of pieces, but have those. That was still a headshot, but it was sharp from something. Plays in Forsaken, and he's got so many targets, he can only get one, but it swings out from the rest. Perfect work from Paper X, well positioned, ready, willing, and able. Read into this perfectly here. And just as I say, maybe Sentinels are playing towards damage control here in the first half. You're really preying on the 6 6 here. Payfrex give themselves an advantage. I mean, leaning potentially towards an 8 4 here. We've yeah. talked about the other tie halves. Ooh, frustration shown. That's the first time I've seen that. Coming out of a timeout, maybe. Yeah. If what's discussed wasn't executed correctly here, or maybe just. I mean, instance of the stars aligning for Payfrex. Three in the right place at the right time. Didn't invest any of those ults though. So able to depend on those if they get the opportunity here. But again, you're looking at Monyet. His I judge, I don't think, got revealed in this position. So they no. didn't quite get the grip on this. So there's still a surprise here. It's going to be a nuisance. Actually gives up a little bit of space towards main. There. It's a little curious. Fire in the hole! 
Here we go. First potential, Monyet. Right. That's a prize that they didn't know. Oh, what? Second! Tries to do some serious damage for Devai. Mind Freaker there. They're holding on to this round, but then they think, they know where tens. is John QT? Where is Tens? Where have they gone? Oh my god, Tens. Gonna take down Devai. Now Devai and Conquer forsaken from above. And they know that last player alive is John QT. Turn around, look to your back. Where is this man lurking? And Forsaken's got the read right. He's waiting for it, but he doesn't get to keep his life. And now another challenger, though. Something steps up. Scary! But he faces his fears and comes out on top. Paper X tipping the scales this time. Last round before the Chance here for Sentinel's purchase still available. Only the showstopper invested previously. The crowd, the crowd now it. feeling like they want to get behind Paper X once again. A breath of fresh air in what's been you have to watch so far since Lotus. It's been a suffocating series it for seems both like sides. a lifetime ago. Don't let me down now, yeah? Operator out for something. Alts on both sides. This round, critical. Early investment is from Devai towards middle. Locking off one of, well, Sentinel's favorite avenues of approach this series so far. Up middle, three players, and he's just going to post up Monya in there. I'm curious what Sentinel's learned the last time about this setup. It was Monya obviously tucked inside as well, still with that judge. Still looking to be a nuisance. Why not? Worked well. She's there. It's a little so, bit cautious on Yeah, that. but we'll note two members of Sentinel's at least over on this side of the map. Seekers invested behind this as well. That's a rotation, though. Something's on the run. It wasn't all three. That's enough to pull a rotation here. They want to try and back up. I mean, Tenz has a TP as well, so you don't really want to see Paper X over rotate here. There is a bit of a gap with only Forsaken, hmm? I guess, shouldering from screens. Zelsus is really trying to sell this, though. And it's information denial as well. The pit will cut off sight lines, but Paper X are reading this to perfection. Monyet is sitting close. He's on the way. Keep your eyes towards Forsaken. He has to do something big here, and the timing might be right. They don't predict it! He can only bring down one, and now there's problems. Monyet on the side, gonna spot out second! Brings him down to the ground! Back to Earth! There's Paper X heating up here. With 15 seconds, Zelsis has to just face the music. He can only do so much. Eight to four, Mike. What a turnaround of form. It feels like this last round to Sentinels. Don't have the confidence to really execute ahead of this. Like I, I said, exactly. it was a previous example of a uh, carbon copy of this round. Remaining. And there was a window of opportunity, Lauren. There was. Okay. He just didn't have solid confirmation behind it. And an 8 4 half here for Paper X on split. I can't believe what we're seeing. This series is looking so good. This half looking exceptional, but a treat for you now with Ali. Hello to everyone following us around the world. We are here on Madrid enjoying every single match and we hope you're enjoying the matches as much as this incredible Madrid crowd is doing. Let me show you how they're cheering. Amigos, gente de Madrid, vamos a demostrarle al mundo entero cómo se anima solo aquí en España. A ver, quiero un poquito de ruido por Sentinels. ¿Quién anima a Sentinels? Vale, 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 vale. Y a ver, a ver, a ver. Los demás necesitan apoyo ahora. Quiero ruido por Paper Rex. Sin lugar a dudas, tenemos un público increíble, inigualable, como en Madrid, como en España, ninguno. Y ahora quiero que todo el mundo empiece a calentar las manos, calentar las manos. Os quiero preparar para una ola. Vais a arrancar como siempre desde la izquierda. Preparaos, tres. Dos, uno, arriba! Vamos, 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 vamos! Que siga esa ola, que siga esa ola, que siga esa ola! Que vuelva, que vuelva! Arriba de nuevo, que vuelva! Os quiero activos y calientes porque esto es un auténtico partidazo! Y por último. Estos jugadores que están aquí se merecen el cariño de España. Así que preparar todos los demás manos. Vamos a aplaudir todos juntos, poco a poco, poco a poco.
Amigos, nos vamos. Here we go. We leave you with the casters. Oh, you love it. Truly, what truly a, a national treasure. Honestly. What a joy. If you've not heard of that man before, check out the Spanish streams. Check out EMEA because he is a godsend. Gets the people going, but so does this match. Let's dive back in. Eight to four. The funky music still going on. <laughs> Hopefully that turns up pretty soon. Is there that we go. For the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little tense now, guys. Let's, you know, focus back up. Because Paperworks are in the lead. And every single half so far has been as close as it could be. This is the first time they have a full the advantage gap, yeah. on split. Said Sen, do excel on this half. Will this be enough? Paper X looking to replicate Genji's success, as said earlier. Could that have been enough of a confidence knock to Sentinels? John QT should spot out this info early enough here. I mean, poised for a retake setup here. Trip removed though, so no kill on the way in for John QT. No damage to come through. The plant will be uncontested. It'll be a full 5v5 here. Mind Freak just going to try and keep himself safe for now. But the flood begins. Sentinel steps on the site. Mon yet the first to find something with a follow up. They are handling this incredibly well. Divide and conquer. Paper X keeping Sentinels at range. Tense has fallen. This is looking like a strong lead here. Sassy is only 8 HP. Looking like nine is inevitable on the board, and it is Paper X kicking off the second half for the first. Reaching double digits, you've got to argue, pretty likely here in the second half. Take us the distance. Come on. And a punch to the gut of Sentinels once again here on split. Can they dig deep? Not going to see the round two force. No. This time around, obviously favoring that on the attack when they do find the plant, but here, want to play towards this first buy round. Look at the stack. Paper X continue along this trajectory. <laughs> They're walking into a lot of players. Yeah, it looks like Paper X want to go head first into this. It might be head first for Halos at this point. Paint shell could be nice. The flash is there, but it's stalled. It's stalled them out well enough that they feel there's something wrong. Yeah, they are spamming for their lives' sake. There was enough of a, a red flag that waved. They've decided shift away for now. Let's see if we can reset this stack. Those fake steps away here. Cut sound. Sentinels, uh, I mean, have to roll the dice here. Yeah. Spin the wheel There's almost, yeah. The massive over rotation from them. Apex now will drift back in towards B site. Another uncontested plant for them. It'll be dub double digits yep. beckoning here. Even just the classics in hand, maximizing here as well. Getting the orb in B main for yep. Monier. Probably going to give him the plant as well. There we go. Can Sentinels get anything done here? Mm. I mean, with this scoreline, really, even just yeah, two, two kills. Yeah. And you're happy coming yep. away from this. Anything to slow this early momentum. Here we go. Second leads the way, but he will be melted by Forsaken. Yeah, this is clean. This is good. Monyet is fired up. He's chasing them down. No survivors. This is a showstopper for him. He's yeah. off now. He's absolutely on it. Perfect. There it is, Monyet. We'll be happy with that one. Paper Rex. Tick in the box. Double digits made. So this might have been the last dance to last chance, but maybe they open up an avenue here. This could be their way back into the series. Byron comes in. Obviously, the advantage leans towards Sentinels here. Rifle in the hands of something, though. Mind Freak's still on that Bulldog. But it's the showstopper. Mm -hmm. The red flag here. <laughs> the Sentinels to have to try and overcome. Well, not Paper X can find some value off it, and I'm worried if they try and contest it. Monje's going to satchel in. He's off. He's, he's found the zombie. Oh, he's got one. It looked like Tens was dead as well, but he lived. 10 HP. I mean, here's the chosen one. The boy who lived with 10. But how much can one man do with that sort of HP? There is no heals on the way, but Zekin's got his back from up on heaven, taking away something in Dubai, and they can't quite close down. Tens! Still living, still thriving. Forsaken will find him, but he gives away the game, and Zekin is there. Sentinels 
Still in this. Three rifles maintained. So a decent footing here to build upon this round three success. One yet, I mean, it, it's very unlucky not to find both, both of them yeah. on the way in. Paper X not looking like they want to slow down at all here in the second half. 10 5 now. Rifles in hand across the board. Paper X switches things up now. Going to test John QT's hold. They got room to test, Mike. They got rounds to test with. Yeah. Can't let it get too far because John QT, I've got to say, I've enjoyed his work specifically on this map. Backbone of holding this site. For now, going to find two early. Something in Forsaken both go down right off the rip. So they need someone to over deliver here. They need a bailout, be it Mind Freak, be it Monyet, be it Devai. It doesn't really matter, but they need someone. And look at the discipline from Sentinels. Instantly sitting back yeah, to the CT. Absolutely. See now Devai removing this trip. That's an indicator for Monyet in future rounds. He's got a couple of uh, high trips to try and overcome. Does he get played Mind Freak here? Oh, second. Okay, Monyet did get the trade there. He looked like he had an angle on that. Yeah. I'd, uh, and they've got time, and all the rotations are coming to this site. They could dip through vents if they fancy it. They don't know this, obviously. Oh, God, Monyet! This guy is so sharp, making something out of this round. And he's drawn the attention from CT. He's trying to play in his teammate, Devai. He's trying to, back as well. Trying to help out, and he's got them a plan here. Devai does get noted. The paranoia does not land. And Monyet! What a moment for him! Can he get the pin? Yes, he can! What an outrageous round for Monyet. He's back on another showstopper. He's one off. Blink and you miss it. Monstrous moment from Monyet. The man to step in with big shoes to fill. And that is exactly what he did this round. Played to perfection as well. God tier. I mean, throws himself in the line of fire. And relishes the moment. Sentinels held on five. That previous loss, 13-5 to Genji. Will it repeat once again? Sentinels, yeah, gaps in his purchase. Zekin does have the showstopper, but only a pistol here. Early exploration outside B main, but already 10's rotating off. You've got to see that fight. Oh, Sassy catches a ton of damage. I was about to say, I want to see almost a very composed Monyet after that round, because it's very easy to overheat. You just get that ace, you're feeling oh, yeah, up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just run, you know, over. Especially it a in a team like Paper X, where yeah, everyone's right. calling something. Yeah, exactly. So it's, I want to see him just kind of keep that cool, not overheat here. And it looks like they're kind of leaving him to his own devices towards middle, potentially. Yeah, just letting him off the leash. Look at him. Just There's takes a one-to-one -one challenge. And now they can't over-rotate. They still have to be considering there's still that threat through towards heaven. But it is going to be that A-take. John QT, do you have a miracle for me now? Not looking likely. Zach and punished. John QT, it's laboured and it's traded. Devai doing really well. Tens. The only one really healthy in this. Does he get the shutdown towards Devai? Yes, he does. He's on the site. The spike gets dropped. But with 20 seconds, Sarsi has to put in some serious damage. Not going to happen. It's 12. Another 3K from Monyet. He's everywhere, Lauren. Omnipresent. Can't escape the guy. The beating heart of Paper X right now. The man who had to step in for one of the most explosive players, one of the most loved players. And he's turning up when they needed him most. The guy that also says, I don't really want to play Raze. And he's doing this. <laughs> I don't really want to do it, but if I have to. He's out doing second on split. He's on 23 to 9. Game on. It's looking like we got a series, and Monyet is on the hunt. Pick it up where he left off. Another victim found. This is a lifetime performance for him here. And that is the first pick with still 1 minute and 24. Nice response. Tens shuts down the lurk on the other side of the map. The Seekers go through, and there's the counter burst! He's been found, but the burst through on main's already come in. b site is lost. Do they continue on this path? Something looking for the fight, but he has to get away. 
Spike's out, though. They're out B main. There's a bit of a gap here. Something. If he can do any damage, find a kill, maybe. Just can't pin it down, but Mind Freak finds a response. Oh, and Mind Freak keeps going. It's all on John QT. Can he keep him alive in this map? Or are Paper X taking us the distance? They are! Never down! Never down! Paper X! Smash Sentinels on split! Sunset's up next! Wild scenes here, Lauren. Unbelievable. And history repeats itself. Well, yes, it does. recent history, yes. at least. Woo. What a confidence booster to take split away in this best of five. And what feels like a slightly front-loaded veto. Yeah. Four Sentinels to turn it here. Wow. Unbelievable scenes. This is going to be a finals to remember. Do not miss how this ends, because we are going the distance. Excuse me, would you mind taking a picture of us? Oh, no problem. Thanks. Ooh. Yes, problem. You need Verizon. Trading that old thing and get a new iPhone 15 Pro with tons of storage so you can take all the pics. So many selfies. A preposterous amount of panos! That means panoramic. And as many portraits of me as your heart desires. How about none? None. None, yeah, none feels right. Trade in any iPhone in any condition and get iPhone 15 Pro and iPad and Apple Watch SE all on us, only on Verizon. Red Bull gives you wings. Tengo mucha cosa que decirte ahora, pero antes de empezar quiero que le demos sin freno. Si tú quieres podemos empezar de
response that was from Paper Rex. They take Sentinels down on a map that they were never supposed to win. I'm your host, Ying Su, and I'm back here with SciShow and uh, Tom. What happened? Money and Apple. Happened? <laughs> I, I said going into this map that they couldn't win if Zekin continued being the best player in the server, and he wasn't anymore. Uh, and that isn't to say that there wasn't also some big team play elements going on and playing at a faster pace that caught sent off, but when you're getting that version of Monia, it is just a different beast. He's at, he's at it. Good? Yeah. Yeah? All right, okay, well, let's check out the uh, <laughs> HyperX <laughs> Reflex moment of the day. This uh, was Monia. Surely, Tom, you have something to say about this. Yeah, no, he was truly incredible. This sort of ace was just ridiculous coming out from him. Basically took over the entirety of the round on his own. And yeah, I, I have absolutely no idea how he's just able to utterly dominate in every single one of these duels versus players that in the last map were pretty much dipping him. We said yeah. it 14 and four in battles versus second in the last map. And he was just crazy. Yeah, he, his performance was so good. He had two double kills, three triple kills, an ace. He multi-killed in a third of the rounds that happened which is just a bonkers performance. And it's turned the entire game on its head. Uh, now it's it's really feels like a battle between Monia and, and uh, Zekin to see who can have more impact on that entry role. Yeah, I mean, I saw somebody in the crowd with a sign saying, I miss you, Jing. I don't know about it right now, but it doesn't look like Paper Rex is missing Jing all that much for the first time in this tournament, Tom. Hey, you know what? The fact is, he was very good on this map on GE when he played controller, so why not both? <laughs> just just have them both going crazy. That's the thing. This was always a map that genuinely Munyet was insane, and it is, well, in theory, the last, well, maybe not the last map, but it will be one of the times up until the next one where he's not going to be going and playing that raise anymore. But he does play quite an aggressive role even on their sunset. Yeah, these are two of the players that ended up swapping roles around yes. coming into this version of Split. Monyet was on smokes, went to raise. Forsaken was carrying on raise and decided to take a, a step back. And for me, it's just all about Monyet's ascension into a spot where you don't start thinking about, oh, if Jing was here, maybe they'd be winning, right? The fact that he has they haven't reinvented their style in the same way that Loud did. They've just, they, it felt like they were trying to do that at the beginning of this tournament. And now Monyet's like, all right, I didn't want to play Raze, but I guess I'll just be as good as Jing, shall I? Yeah. It's ridiculous. I think a lot of it comes down to just sheer confidence. It's like at the beginning of the tournament, they were definitely a little bit more shaky, losing, what was it, to EDG. Yeah. It definitely didn't look that great. Now I feel like they've got to the point in the tournament where any pressure's like, okay, if we go further than this, we're doing amazingly well. We're having a great tournament, even if people People are sort of looking at us and going, oh, that was shaky, that was dangerous. And I think he's just slowly got used to the stage. Because that's the thing, like when he played with G in the past, it was a, a very quick <laughs> in and out. It was. And then didn't Wham, really get bam. that same experience. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about this agent select here for Sunset, because uh, this is the only map that Paper Rex have looked good on this tournament uh, yes. without fail. Yeah, and also this is coming back to the first time that these teams matched up against each other in the off season. Sentinels have now stolen Paper X version of the composition, but they don't run it with the Sage. And I think the Sage adds a ton of weird stuff. There are boosts all over the map that Paper X love to do. It's an extra layer into the post plan, but it does mean Sen can try to flank them really aggressively. So if Sen want to play the defense really aggressively, there are no trips, and Paper X have got to be watching out for that at all times. I think also you just have to look at, like, you've got a matchup of geckos. They're going to play this completely the opposite. Oh, yeah. These are the two yeah. most different geckos you are ever going to see. Well, Sentinels, they have another chance to close this out. Pansy and Hypog, let's see if this is the place that they do it. It's back to the wall for Paper X, but they give themselves a chance. Sen still sit with the advantage here, Mike. They just need one more, and they've been good here, but so have Paper X. Yeah, it feels like maybe this is the start of the home stretch. Could be. Paper X can turn things around after that explosive win on Split. <laughs> oh, there's that. I just, I just want to, I just want to go to bind if I'm honest. Yeah. Like it, it just from the the the. The purest as aspect of, I want to see more of this level of Valorant. I, again, don't really care who wins, if I'm honest. It's been excellent from both. Really good series so far, just waiting to jump into the game. Not sure what the holdup is here. Hopefully that gets resolved quickly. Can't read the signs. Difficult. Joe, Leah, is that my sign eyes? up for us. It, sorry, who did? Leah. Oh, really? Yeah, headroom. Okay. Yeah, love Leah. Not Kevin. Wow. Producer Kev. Like, no close. Like. Do you know what we haven't had, though? 
tech fours. We actually haven't. I, know, I wasn't going to say I it. Know. I wasn't going to say it until I... we're guaranteed the last <laughs> map. No, we got to we got to bring it to existence. This isn't a tech pause, by the way. This no, one doesn't not. count. No, it doesn't. But what does count is we are now moments away from jumping in to sunset. It's been a stronghold for Paper X. It's looked fantastic for Sentinels. But who gets it now? It's everything on the line here. A lifeline given for Paper X, but still so many opportunities for Sentinels. Early exploration towards mid, removal of the door here. It's hard to paper X and nothing noted on the back of Sassy's utility either. The paper X a chance to stack up here. Leave a few question marks across the map. Force Sentinels to try and garner some information another way. A stack towards B. Sassy almost just playing to shoulder this angle here. And paper X feeling themselves. Good read. I mean, it, it looks tailored for a retake anyway. I'm not particularly yeah. fussed by this. So, good approach. And as long as Sen have all their utility, which they are obviously going to be keeping here, no harm, no foul. That's Smoke going towards CT. That should start to potentially pry some of the Sentinels players away from position on B. Plant going to come in. Wall to CT. Spike planted. And here we go. This is when it all gets a little fun, doesn't it? And that's a start. Something takes down his opposing number and gets to just play the angle. Here to throw some utility around the corner as well. Just to slow Sentinels down. Oh, another oh. headshot found. Might even find Tens through the box. No, he doesn't. He's still got Dizzy to throw over the top as well. Look at the stall. Look at the utility stall on this, Mike. It's so difficult to get around that corner. And CT just wasn't accessible for most of the players. Yes, Zekin's going to find Mind Freak, but they're still trying to break back in. Hold up. Oh, no way. Not again. It's magic in Madrid for Monyet. How does he keep doing this, Mike? I mean, the stall is just outrageous. And just when you think Sentinels have found a way to pry their way back onto the site, it's Monnier to sweep the round off its feet. It was looking like it might have got a bit too that close there. adjustment is outrageous. Oh, damn. That's going to get a pumped up. <laughs> a sigh of relief yep. from Alex. The Paper X to draw first blood here on Sunset. Nice, though. Yeah, a lot of information on the back of that. Are they diligent on the clear here? Forsaken, I think just jump spotting. Yeah, he's seen something that's not sitting well with him. So gonna have to invest a little coming back in, which is good to see the protocols there, even in a round like this. And they are walking into a lot of players, Mike. Actually, the plant's sent through here. Not there. Mr. Eden, strong QT, not showing his hand just yet. Finally, no, does review no. He gets two. It's a disaster for Paper X. Made a meal out of it, and now there's a real opportunity. Can they still cause more problems? Yes, they can with tens. The doing fuse is that. coming through. Oh, my word, my freak. Oh, just he stopped got it. Off. He just about stopped it, but it's not going to change any of the outcome. Just QT. So calm and collected as they all drifted on by. Tens then comes in with two for himself, but watch this again. The paranoia perfect, the follow-up utility from Dizzy too. The second they had that chance, Mike, they capitalized on it. Yeah, timed to perfection. The paranoia catching Devai having no idea. The sound cues blocked here. That's a round two flip for Sentinels. Stunting their early progress. Sheriffs across the board for them here, but see the rifles coming in like that for Sentinels. Mm. Let's just again looking to find some early info. It's only going to be Mind Freak noted, but very early progress up mid here. A nice little way to gather information for Paper X2. It's a chance there for Forsaken to find yeah. it, but. Tens a little sharper with the Bulldog. And again, just taking the tour of the map, really. Looking for probably some impact. I mean, they've gone for the Sheriffs here. Not completely without teeth into this round. But John QT. I don't know if they spotted him or just simply spammed when the smoke fell. But it's worked out. They're going to get a plant for themselves. So that's Monyet working towards the ult. 
And now we wait to see if any further damage comes in. Numbers advantage, so waiting for the last stragglers. Second and Sassy come through and reinforce here. And John QT to finally open them on yet will fall. Just two left to find now. Divide tries to find something. Clean mind for it cleaned up. Very nice. All five standing. Another flawless to add. Flawless. Four Sentinels find themselves out in front here. A 2-1 lead. Conversion after flipping round two as well. Ooh. Hey, breaks progress towards oh, ults. Yeah. yeah. Something hasn't been uh, afraid of pulling it out every so often. Looking to right. find uh, a little more damage once again. And maybe indicative of Paperx slowing the pace a little bit. Again, we have seen Sentinels kind of testing those extremities. So maybe a good chance wow. to try. Okay, tested middle as well. Divide just stood there and accepted his fate because where else were you going to go? But something does find the reply. That's on Mind Freak, not. I, uh, this is a wild round. Hold on. Spikes on the way back through. TP had to be taken to get out of danger. One yet trying to re clear this space. But keep your eyes towards Forsaken as well. He's the one towards middle. I wonder if he finds them some space here potentially, but they're re aggressing on B main. On yet, oh, he's sharp. He's on it today, folks. That's two. He's brought this back to a 2v2, Mike. Look at the space taken by Forsaken elsewhere. He's playing in the cut right now. Zelsis down to 7 HP. 10's uh, 56. Is the awareness here? No, Zelsis knife out. Punished here. It's now 10's on a long flank, shattering something's progress. Might even get a 1v1 here. 24 HP. The operator, though. Yeah. It's good for it. Something. I gotta say, the, the mid round calling of that, again, the space found by Forsaken was just exceptional. But the bailout from Monyet, too. Really on the money there. Yeah, and again, a little bit of a mystery, I guess, on the setup in B main here. As Sentinels look to regress. Initially, Sassy punished here. Zels is almost caught, fragment in hand. Sure, an operator being toyed with or at least considered by Sentinels. Wonder if they are going to commit to it. Not the case. Do we have alt wise as well? Nothing really. At least for the Sentinel side, of course. Still two for Paper X. They got options this round. So it's something that's going to continue for to look for picks like this now. Actually, it's not even him on a solo mission here. They're going to very quickly be able to remove this camera. Force some sort of adjustment on the side of Sentinels. See on the X-ray here, something brazen in approach. Bold to go for that. No punish on the back of this ult. But the walk out towards A. Keep your, two, your eyes towards the players walking through towards tiles. Could they catch him in middle? They're going to try and get towards the site. This is a really uncomfortable place to be playing towards. Zekin does catch. It's Mon yet to fall. And now it calls in something. He has to deliver. A tag not enough. And John QT with a punish. Sentinels with a fantastic playback through. The spike unable to go down here. That should, catch was just exceptional, Mike. Yeah, Wall should slow things down here, allow them some comfort to plant, but look at the minimap. Look at this flank coming through right now Last from Zekin. 5 HP, finds Mind Freak, can't find the second. Vi forced to heal up here. This is a lot to ask of one player, though. Not going to happen. Tens, lovely. And again, Mike, the timing, a couple seconds difference, but that walk through tiles pretty much allowed all that information to free flow. Yeah, definitive. Hey, Prex. Pump the brakes here. Another early timeout. Monia just caught at the last second. Well, and there's the kill from John QT yeah. as well. Well handled, well controlled by Sentinels. Again, even giving the time here for Zekin to really make that flank worthwhile, guaranteeing value. I mean, been getting away with some plants today. Yeah. Not, not necessarily getting shut down on the wingman front. Curious. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, catching me. I'm curious now if uh, Paper X resort back to a different approach now that the operator's not available. Maybe a pace change to employ here for Paper X. 
not necessarily an early concern, still 3-2. Kept honest here, only really the finances separating them. Now, speaking of the finances, Sentinels looking very flush. Oh, yeah. Other than Zekin down at 600, but everybody else above 45. QT, a last-minute purchase to come through. And it'd be unsurprising to now see Paperx trying to pressure at least that a main challenge at the start. The knife again did no well, very early on last time, yeah. so curious if that's going to be the case again. Problem being, it's unbreakable, so yeah. they try and catch this early timing. They have to give up the info. Yeah, and, it's, and, and I, and I kind of like the response here from Sentinels by almost overstacking this. Is it really then going to be hard to... It almost dissuades Paper X and those leaked around to be going back in for that challenge. Still creeping up on this, though. Okay. Sticking to their guns. Get him, wing. The wingman's down. One yet drifting onto a deeper angle here. He's got Zekin and Sassy to overcome here. Still, Zelsis in close proximity as well. A knife should have caught at least two players, I would have thought. Forsaken, where did he find that space? And the instantaneous response, though. Zekin doubles down He's towards looking, Elbow. He's looking to wrap this. And Forsaken... Oh, my God, the timing. I don't know who saw who. No one no, saw anyone. Nobody saw anybody. They, they, they're, compl they, 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 they're following each other. They have no idea how close they are. Bye-bye, Forsaken. Now yeah. does reveal a little of the position, but they're left with so few standing. It's Defy with a res, and oh, the information just going to be sent right back through. What can two players do here? That's a great that start. Well. Yeah, okay, all from the same position. Paranoia not going to fight. Um, that was a little bold from Tens. And Mindfreak can just catch the cross, try and tee up Devi. Anything to disrupt him, not really. And the cross, so deadly, he plays ahead of it. Could have waited. Sentinels grasp onto that with both hands. But Tens at least acts as the information probe here. The Sentinels to pull off the retake. And yeah, and when you see this little snake by there, you know that this retake can be split down the middle. A player isolated, but nonetheless, Sentinels. A third successful retake. Playing the timing really well here. Maybe banking on the paranoia catching and <laughs> audacious TP not being yeah. noted. Paperx, a few ultimates in hand here. Got the null command, got the res, the TP for Monyet. It's definitely tools to bring into round seven here. But this is starting to get out of hand. If you kind of keep in mind the rounds that have been won, Sentinels have started to stabilize massively here. And that's perfect from Tens. Punishing Mind Freak for trying to take any of that space towards eight. And an instant response from the rest of Paper X is just to go the other way. We'll be walking into well, whether or not that step was heard. I don't see a ping on the minimap, but yeah, the ping is on the minimap actually. They have heard this step, and they're walking into three-man stack here. Watch it goes down. Will slow any progress. Isolating one yet a little bit, but not punished just yet. But they still need to clear the site. Yeah, they didn't clear the backside of Til uh, Pillar, so Zeltsis gets to do that, picking up two. Mon yet are you? This guy is so audacious as well. But this is a lot to handle. A lot of players on that corner. Sassy. They want to keep it safe. And again, Sentinels starting to tear this lead away, Mike. This is looking a little one-sided here. An opportunity to stretch their legs even further with a lesser purchase on the horizon for Paper X. You're right, even though initially like, uh, there wasn't too much threat with this three-man stack. Celsius goes unchecked and results in two kills. Necessarily expecting a response here from Paper X, so this gap should widen a little bit. So the funds unmoved on the side of Sentinels. Big cushion here. How are they going to disrupt John QT and Celsius in this moment? Knife does get denied, but the ult, depended upon John QT, comes out of the flash just fine. Finds to fight, can't quite get a second. Hold on! Snap! Back 
to attention as something delivers two bullets to the brain. Delsis just dealt with on the ground. This is a plant now. This is potentially a window of chance. I wasn't expecting a response, but it might just come through. And they sent through. Deckard looking to use the source stop here. Yeah, shut down. What a read. And not yet again finding more. It's all on Sarsi. Position. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh my God. There's no way. There's no way. Paper X had to hunker down in that after that shot. They made something out of nothing there. Well, this is another example versus the previous, I mean, something with the second time this series. Two ridiculous Sheriff kills to really open up a round. Yeah, what is that? And even this from Monyet playing so well into that, maybe expecting the ult could have come through, just bursting through the smoke, took a risk, and it worked out well. The whole round looked like a frag movie there. We've got a mid-walk, Mike. Yeah, very, very quick as well. Not really, no caution in the approach yet. And this is something that we haven't seen before. This could really catch him off guard. And it does, Zekken. Oh, and the follow-up to on yet disrupted. Paper X going to be baffled by what just happened. And Zels is controlling from top middle. They're just going for the fight. Knives in middle, basically, at this point. The spike is still in hand with something, but they have so little space to work from. Divide something to try and recover something, if anything, here. That's it, first onto Tens is found. Oh. Uh, QT finds a response over the top here. Zelsis to seal the deal on Sentinel's sixth. What odds do we have? Nothing key, you could argue, for Sentinels. On the other side, a little bit to play with, actually. Six to three, but the money. A factor for Paper X. More of a traditional start here. None of that work down mid. It's going to be Zekin and Sassy on the other side of this. Watch bits are slow. Paper X locked out behind this at the minute. We'll give them some sort of safe passage. Yeah, trying to play in Zekin off that, but not going to get what they want here. All going to come through too. Plant not yet in. And they don't know about Zekin yet. What does he do with this one? Just spams away. He tries to find a corner to play from, but it's Zelsa to find one yet. Pit still stands the something. Got out. Will he get caught on this then? This is a bit of an issue. Look at the HP. It's dwindling. Something down low. Forsaken's fallen. Zelsa is on a heater this round. Can he find the final two players though? Difficult, tricky, something. Oh, that's dangerous play, but Mind Freak, this would have to be hero levels of work. He can stick through the snake fight. He's, oh, he's going to be defusing. Nothing to stop it. John QT, yes, will find the kill in the end, but the defuse wasn't stopping. Another successful retake here. Zels is finding, uh, I believe, another blind kill in here to the pit, yeah. To shut down one yet. Well, make that a third. Yeah, there it is. MVP, the fuse, seven to three. <laughs> Frustration showing. Operator back in play, this time with Tenzo. What's the what he's up to with this? Looking like he's kind of sitting towards top middle. The double stack towards A delivers Zekin, controlling. And Paper X just not finding their footing here, Mike. Struggling a little and Forsaken taking Second, a bit yeah. of damage on Dancing with death. Get the heal regardless. Kill Res comes ally. through. Paper X five strong once again. Despite making a rotation here, Mind Freak dealing with a trip. Zelsus, does he swing on to this? John QT is oh. wow. beheaded. Paper X looking a little lost here, Mike. That will shut any opportunity of finding a timing back over towards B site. Looks like they might even commit behind this. Spike dropped.
very much in control of this map. Is the ult enough to do anything? Forsaken, oh, he's been caught there by Second Sentinels. So in control. It needs to be miracles from Divine. It doesn't look like it's happening. This is looking concise. It's looking clear on this half. Again, one of the most one-sided ones we've had so far. Divine, unfortunate here. There's no way out. That's it, Sentinels. Strong control this time. Eight rounds. Maybe losing a little bit of that confidence from Split, but picking it right back up here. Yeah, stabilizing on Sunset. Early pick comes through, forcing the res. Second ended up with four on the round for him. Rewarded with a showstopper now. Round 12, it's a shaky purchase here for Paper X. And trailing by five. And, uh, distance, you're feeling it. Sentinels looking lively, looking sharp, looking like they're firing on all cylinders. On yet, with a little bit of an opportunity there, a chance, but he doesn't really get what he wanted. But look at the response over towards B-Main. Yeah, early progress made, and Sentinel's not looking like they want to slow down either. Adjustment of John QT's utility. And Paper X are almost walking into the trap here. Being herded. Look at Zelsis and Zekin. They might even catch Monyet ahead of this execute. They absolutely have. I think maybe one smoke went in at best, but Ten's still here already, herding them around this map and waiting for that cross, sharp as ever. He's getting one, he's got the three! Any more? He's at least got wingman as well, but Tense just holding that cross. They were never making it past. And Sentinels, maybe a blip on the radar on split, but instantly back in control in touching distance to the finals now with nine rounds to their name. Looking very comfortable for them. Can Paper X dig deep once again? Require a huge comeback to make things happen. Keep this series alive. That's what they need to keep this series going. This is going very much in Sentinel's favor right now. Is this the last half we're gonna see? Hello guys, I am Jordan Zelsis Montemuro. I play Valorant for Sentinels. How I'm feeling for this match, I'm pretty pretty disappointed, to be honest. I feel like we're very disconnected today as a team, whether it be like the game plan, our teamwork, comms, energy, stuff like that. It kind of felt like from the get-go we were disconnected, and that's kind of just how I'd, I'd sum it up. So I'm kind of a, I'm kind of disappointed in us as a, as a squad. I think the biggest thing with our Breeze is we were pretty strong in it before they reintroduced Halls, and I think we kind of just like straight away from it. We tried to learn like other maps, stuff like that. Like we still feel pretty confident on the map, but I mean, being disconnected as a team, you're never gonna win. Nelson's with his utility, but also with his Odin at the back. Hasn't been revealed. He sat patiently waiting with his gun in hand, and he's gonna win the fight again. Oh, even look at the spam through. He's done a lot of damage to Karen, but he's just buying time for the rotation. Oh! You don't really see plays like this every single day. Sat at the back with the own in hand. Oh, he's just going to oh! the side on his own. I think us having to go from playing now and then we have to play best of five will definitely, it'll definitely be a climb, but it's nothing we haven't done before. Like, you know, we had to, we lost our first match in kickoff, had to play through a lot of matches, had to play through play-ins. We had a very long off season, so we've been grinding. We just need to make sure that, you know, we show up in the lower best of five and, you know, hopefully we win three O's. Doubters, I mean, I'm getting paid. I'm playing here, you're sitting at home. Hopefully we keep winning and pissing you off. Sentinels leading this series, leading this half. It's looking like they're about to lead themselves into the grand finals. Paper X with three, Mike. This has to be it. They've got to come up with something now. It all starts with a pistol. Can they get themselves on the board here in the second half? It's looking like it might be Monyet. something to try and hold down the fort here. I mean, early information garnered on the side yeah, of Paper X. 
should have probably seen everyone. Yeah, definitely. So, big response is made. A little bit of caution there, just in case it is a fake, but it is committed to. <laughs> Sen, full commit on this. They are already on the side. Something actually, 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 actually an interesting yeah. spot here. Does it get re-cleared, though? No, he gets some play on this one. Mon yet by his side. Zekin falls. Smoke not quite in the right place. And Sassi unleashing, unleashing Fury. We're down to 3v2. Mind the freaking defy. Out. The wall is up. Does it get broken in time? A tap on the spike and it draws them in. Tens goes looking, goes hunting, and he finds his victim. It's Mind Freak remaining. And Tens gets Sentinels 2-10. Double digits early. Paper X now walking the tightrope. Do we see any investment here to try and slow this down? One enemy remaining. Confidence displayed once again here from Sentinels. Some beautiful pistol rounds on display from them today. You can feel it now. See that confidence on their faces. You can start seeing them come alive. Just a couple more rounds, and they're back at the grand finals with a chance of vengeance, a chance at revenge, a chance at a title. There. In their way, Paper X still with an opportunity. Zelsa's got caught here. And a 5 HP. Closing in. Dizzy goes. This is good, but Tens is better. Doing the damage to keep them at arm's length. They can't gap close towards it. Looking for this weapon, though. I don't know if that was the sheriff that got lost it. No, actually, Mind Freak and Divi. Looks like it's just getting up on the angle, though. Nearly punished. Brought down to one HP. No heal available, because Divi's already taken damage here. Sentinels will find themselves a wide open A site. Covers Paper X left trailing. They need some value out of this. Chip damage is not enough. They need tangible value. When does, the rest, come in. when does the heal come back? I think it should be back online now. Looking for it. Five seconds. You're going to see Monyet, the top side of this. The rest being quite loud in approach. But already, I'm pretty sure John QT has noted this. Sentinels fully aware. Yeah, John Q Oh, that was a mistake from Tens. Maybe not expect them so close by. But Mind Freak now needs a miracle. He's got three more to find, and not much of a chance to do it. Time against him, players against him, he can't get the shot. Sentinels up to 11 now. Paper X held on three. Feels like this buy round will decide it. Near yeah, see what Sentinels are able to scrape together. I mean, three left standing from the previous. Rounds to play with, so they don't need to stack the chips here. Push all in. In round 15, only really sassy with the early progress towards Ultimate as well. A decent stack of rifles. Need to see a response here from Paper X, Lauren. It's, it's Needs to come now. It's now or it's never, Mike. This is the moment for them to step up the flash. Good. The swing is there. Something. Going to take down Zekin. Need more of where that came from, though. Dizzy finding very little. Might be quite telling. Not seeing any more pressure towards mid. Monyet must be on red alert. And Tens dangerous on the angle. Going to fall off this one. May not note the full extent of presence. Something. Oh, John QT with the backup. Tens never fighting alone here. The pressure on the site starting to mount now. So safe passage though. Cross is easy enough, and actually Monya punished as well. Forsaken finds a response, so Zelsis will fall. Brings it to a 3v3. Spike still not planted, but coming through now from the wingman. And give Sentinels a chance to fully reset on the back of this. Yeah, and Tens is looking heated up though. Look at this timing and look at the positioning. He could be the dagger in the back, or he could just wait. Let's this is see so much feels. info, Lauren. Yeah, he's clearing as he goes 30 HP. It's probably all he needs. Maybe not even a fair fight on this. They've just got to buy some time because the Reaper's on the way. He's going to spot one, take him down. They know there's going to be more. Doesn't get more, though. A 2v2 here, Defiant Forsaken. Still a little time, but this angle's so hard to clear. So brutal to try and pass away, to try and push them away from. Defy, desperate. He needs another fight here, and he needs it fast. 
but I don't think he's got the time for this one, Mike. It's going to be close, but not close enough. It's 12 for Sentinels. Heartbreak to not get that first half to fuse in. Sentinels now. Knocking on the door of the grand finals. Beautiful reposition from Tens as well. Playing the pressure perfectly. The rest of the team falling back, giving that space, allowing time to Tens to find some value. I mean, if anything, I'm looking at the purchase here. Sorry to get ahead of this, but it's looking better than you'd imagine for Paper X. But it looks like a brawl, Mike. I'm seeing everyone in middle, but Devai, the one to burn them out, but Sussy's still this there on it. the back lines. They're hunting them down, they're chasing them down. Something saving Paper X. But it's down to 1v1, and of course it's going to be Tens. Is he the one to do this for them? The return to the international stage like this. Can you be the man to step up? Mind Freak on the other side. And the time ticking. He's taking a look towards CT. Just as Mind Freak starts clearing the site, does he read it correctly? He's going to hear this. Did he spot him? Did he see him? Two already in the round. A third would be needed. He's creeping closer. Mind Freak's not stopping. He's got to check. And he does! Sentinels are going to the grand finals! America's last hope holds true. As the prodigal son to close things out here. Sentinels, the bounce back on Sunset at 33. Domination of Paper X. Yeah. A heartbreaking loss, but sometimes the brightest lights cast the darkest shadows, Lauren. Paper X, a turbulent journey here in Madrid, but an achievement nonetheless for them. You're absolutely right there. Considering the changes, considering their own opinions of themselves coming into this event, their own accreditation of all where the they were. All the questions, all the questions, yes. all the doubts, and they're still Did this. made it this far. Yeah, a fantastic side. Paper X couldn't quite keep it up towards the end of this best of five, but Sentinels to turn attention to the victors here. What a moment, what a welcome back. Yes, defeat against Gen G, but now they get to walk into a grand finals. Incredible. It's good to see them back as well. It's been a while. And the performance so far take nothing away. They're still gunning to take things home here in Madrid. Yeah. And honestly, I mean, split aside, which now, uh, I mean, <laughs> throw, throw all of the results out the window. Yeah, yeah, Another yeah. loss here. 13 5 once again, but overall, fantastic performance from Sentinels so far. Tens and Zekin continue to deliver, continue to give more and more for the Sentinels side. No, they, they, they have been incredible to watch. What a fantastic series. And to wrap up the day, to kind of put a bow on it all, it's the analyst desk. Thank you very much, Fanzi and Hypog. What a last map that was from Sentinels. I've got SciShow and Tom back here with me. That's not how I expected to it for, for it to end. No, I mean, both teams dominated on the opponent's yeah. best map. And I felt like while the rest of the series had a player who took over, that was a tactical dismantling of the way that Paper X played. Little Brother learning from Bigger Brother and taking it apart. It was sick. We did, we did get some crazy stuff from Tens, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I feel like throughout the series, he was a... Uh, it was middling. He was he was all right, okay. but in that Even last five. map, yeah, yeah. In the, he was a ten in the last map. Yeah. You know, I, I'll double it. Yeah, he was nuts. He was nuts. Honestly, funny that you should say that. I had this <laughs> prepared already. Ten out of tens. Those yep. are the tens. Yeah, that's uh, one for uh, tens, one for Zekin. Tekken. Ten out of ten. You really want this to stick, don't you? I stop also really. stop like... trying to make fetch happen. It's not, it's not happening. <laughs> Great reference. I feel like this guy was also kind of a MVP performance. Yeah, that. yeah. I, I, it's just, it's so sad seeing Paper X lose out in this fashion, but they were comprehensively beaten there in that kind of, it, it's a very similar kind of comp head-to-head uh, -head battle, but uh, it's tough to see them go home like that, but Sen with a rematch is going to be awesome. Yeah, but this is the thing. This is the Paper X that came in here saying, we're six out of ten, we're struggling, we're not feeling great, and Tom, they still made top three. Yeah, that, that's the thing. It was one of those teams that we didn't have many high expectations of. 
they did as well as they could, they're going to be better next time. Well, I can't wait to see what Tens had to say about this. He's standing by with Kakuka for the Verizon post-match interview. Sentinels! I'm here joined by Tens. First of all, congratulations. Uh, my first question is going to be, you were in the first final for the first international masters ever. But the question is going to be, you had a different roster. What makes this roster capable of such greatness? I think this is the best iteration that uh, Sentinels has had for a roster. Just, we work together, we get along, we're great friends, and I think we trust each other, and that's what matters the most. Le preguntaba que, bueno, él ya ha estado en, en la primera final que tuvimos de la primera Masters Internacional, ¿qué es lo que hace que este roster también pueda ser capaz de lo mismo? Y él dice que confían mucho en el uno en el otro y que esta versión del roster es lo mejor que han tenido en años. Okay, so my next question is going to be, what is going on with Split? Yesterday, today, what do you think is going on there? I think we generally just need to wake up on Split. We've been kind of lazy, uh, especially since Split's been our territory for quite a while now, and it is our best map. Uh, but yeah, we're 0-2 on it since uh, since then, so we just got to wake up, I think. Le preguntaba también qué es lo que estaba pasando en Split, un mapa que se les ha dado también, pero que en los dos últimos días, pues no tanto. Dice que, que bueno, que sí, que es su primer mapa, que, pero que a lo mejor se han tranquilizado un poco, que precisamente les ha dado esa confianza de relajarse. Okay, so just yesterday you were losing against Gen G. Tomorrow you're going to be facing them again, but it's going to be a best of five and they're going to get uh, those two bands. What can we expect to be different from your point of view? I think uh, the, the Sentinels that we showed yesterday against Gen G wasn't real us. So if we bring the, the proper form and we play together as a team, I think it's gonna be a lot more of a match to watch. Okay, le preguntaba también que obviamente mañana tienen el rematch contra Genji, pero esta vez va a ser un mejor de cinco y ellos, Genji, van a tener dos bans eh, para el mejor de cinco. ¿Qué va a ser diferente? Dicen que tienen que, de nuevo, que la comunicación tiene que estar en pie, que tienen que volver a, a, a jugar su juego y sentirse cómodos con lo que están haciendo y que así pues, será más divertido de, mí, de ver. Uh, lastly, you have friends, family, fans here watching you. I want to, to, you know, just send the hype up, thank them for their support and also hype them up for tomorrow. Thank you to all the amazing fans that came out here today. Thank you for supporting us. It means a lot to us. Uh, thank you to my family. And yeah. OK, thank you very much. We will see you tomorrow. Welcome back to the desk. What's going on here? What's going on here? We got Sassy. Welcome in. Congratulations thank on you, an excellent you. performance, Sassy. Uh, especially that final map. It was destructive. I've, I've been hearing from some of the other players on your team talking about how there were mentality problems a little bit when he went up against Gen G previously. We heard it from Jordan as well. Yeah. So can you talk me through what was the mental difference like in that game versus this one? Because you looked on fire from the beginning. I think we were just thinking about us. Uh, when we faced Gen G, we were thinking more about them than us, and they got like really messy around it. And then today we're like, bro, let's just play our game. You know, we don't care about Paper X. You know them, right? We know how they play. So let's just play our game, and we'll be fine. Yeah. Now, one of, one of the things I sort of wanted to lead into is obviously you you made one of the biggest roster moves maybe in the history of Valorant. It has been a while since obviously we saw you in one of those big finals. You've now made it back with a second team. Are, are you the guy that's sort of dragging everyone through? Are you the championship mentality guy or are you really feeling it with the new team as well? I mean, it's not fair for everyone to say that I'm that guy, <laughs> but I'm feeling like not only me, but also Jordan, like Zelzis and John QT were like, so big on this tournament. They are so big on this tournament. So I think it's like more props to them. Also the coaching staff are making like a beautiful job for us. It's make, made our life so comfortable to play it. So yeah, I think it's a, about everyone, not just so it's the ball buff. Sure. He said ball buff. I think that's why. It's about buff too. But, but do you does it feel special to be back in that kind of position? Oh again? yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Like for me, I took one year vacation. <laughs> we just lost all, almost yeah. everything. Then we came back, we played some off-season tournaments, we did good, and then we got kickoff. So you know it's good to be back on top again. Now, I believe that in your two previous finals appearances, one you went through the upper bracket where you had the advantage, and one when you went through the lower and you ended up 
Uh, or did you go through no, the I, vault? No, this is my first time on lower. This is your first oh, time yeah, on yeah. lowers. You're right, but you won one time and you lost one time despite yeah. having the map pool advantage. Do you think it's all it's cracked up to be? <laughs> it's a big advantage, but I mean, you're 50-50 with it. Yeah, I'll be honest, like against NG, of course, like props to them for winning against us, but I feel like it doesn't matter the map. If we go face the NG like ourselves, like we did today, not, a, not, a, not like split though, forget spot split, okay, okay. okay. then I think we're gonna win, doesn't matter the map. Mm. So I want to follow up on sort of, again, talking about your old team, your new team. I think you played with two of the best duelists probably oh, yeah. ever. And as a supportive player, what is it like working with someone like Zek? And like, oh. is, is, it, is it like, because you throw some insane utility, yeah. but he does the job every time. I'll be honest, I was, I've been lucky so far to play like <laughs> with so much good duelists in my life. Like I play with Aspas and now Zekin. To be honest, I'm just here to do their job easier. <laughs> That's it. Like I'm just here to throw flashes, spot, and, <laughs> and everything, just to make their life easier. And for sure, like as I said before, I've been blessed to play with so much good players. Like not only Zach and Tyson too. Like he's a good player. I felt like coming into this series, I saw multiple moments where you had a real great game plan for what to do against Paper X. But there is kind of an elephant in the room there that you mentioned about your split. You've now lost it 13-5, 13-5, and it was exactly as all the rest of us were talking about how you had the best split in the world. Is this because other teams have figured you out? Is it something about the Pacific teams? Just a rough kind of idea without giving too much away. What do you think the, the core of that is? I'll be honest, it's kind of both. You know, some anti strat on us, it's fine. But I feel that we still had the read on their anti strat, but we didn't play as a team. Like, it's hard to say. I'm not trying to say, like, as an excuse, but to be fair, <laughs> we didn't play that good. Like, we are not proactive, like, as we do on split, you know? We on split, we play, like, defense, like, attack, and, like, on attack, we're, like, really proactive with reads as, as well. But, you know, we should be better for the, for the next day. Well, that, that's the thing. You kind of then flip the script because Sunset has been an incredible map from them. Mm -hmm. They do play it kind of crazy still. So, like, how how do you weather the storm versus a team like Paper Ace? Because they are nuts. Yeah, they're nuts. They don't but they don't play duelists. So, we kind of knew, like, they don't have, like, a dive agent. So, it was mm -hmm. kind of, like, easy for John. And also, we have KO Knife, so it's kind of hard for them as well. I can see they're working because they use something with an operator as a, a good option on attack. Yeah. And it's been working so far, but we were so aware of it, so we didn't get a uh, pick off against him. So, just as a quick aside, people have been, Paper Eggs have been rating themselves all throughout the tournament 6 out of 10, 10 out of 10. What's your confidence level headed into the grand <laughs> final? <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. I'm so much comfortable right now. I feel like a 10, I don't know. Really? Yeah. Ten. Yeah. Just coming off that glow of the high. I mean, you guys yeah. played fantastic. We've only got an eight. I, can't, I, can't. I was going to bring the board back <laughs> up, but we don't. Uh, we don't uh, I'll be honest. There you go. Sure. Yeah. Perfect. She yeah. predicted it. I think people will think about like the Vito's advantage and, and stuff, but I'll be honest, we don't care. Like, yeah. even we play against, we play Breeze, we play Icebox, I think we're going to be ready for it. So it doesn't matter. We just got to play as a team. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your win Thank today, you. Sassy. In case anybody hasn't realized, we got our schedule ready. We got the teams that we know are going to be in the grand final of Masters Madrid. It's Gen G versus Sentinels. Gen G coming from the upper bracket, a rematch of that upper bracket finals, Tom, as well, with a massive map veto advantage, plus a wild show match, too. If you haven't realized, there's going to be a little agent reveal happening. We've got a big show starting the day <laughs> with a new agent, a show match happening with all of these wonderful influencers cracking around to a day to be here for, for sure, Tom. Oh, Mimi and Kaede on the same team. Can they lose? Like, honestly, <laughs> I, I already have full faith in Team International. No offense, Team Spain. Luckily, I'm on the international broadcast, so I can say that without anybody coming for me. <laughs> <laughs> and that, the day beginning at 4 p.m. tomorrow. So make sure you're there to be able to catch all of that. You don't just want to hit the grand final. We've got so, so much more for you. But again, congratulations, Sassy. Appreciate it very much. And good luck in your match tomorrow. <laughs> we will see you then. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow in the Grand Finals. Both teams had to overcome a lot of challenges just to get here. It is going to be about who can show up and get into that Grand Finals tomorrow. The place is crowded, just looking at what is going to be of these two teams. This first map could be almost a trendsetter. Alex! 21-0.
one trope, but he's still, he's got them all with his safety! Super! He's swinging around the side. Something goes down, but Mind Freak succeeds. The down is just one now. Mind Freak! What? 21 HP! Oh, he's gone! Oh, the Sentinels dig into heels in. The view is taken away. Oh, John QT! John QT, they won the fight! Oh, and something goes above and beyond! And we are going on team! The TP, the TP is obscene. He let... Oh, he let it go! Second! This map up in a bow! Oh, what? clear, I should say. Oh, Something! What? Oh, oh, my freaking nasty <laughs> with it! They are ready on every single lane. The PRX want to play in. They are. There is another player on the side, but look at that! Oh, oh he plays it so well! Yeah, and they have no idea about Sen! Remaining. Now it is time to shine! Sen! McLean Map 2! One tap, one tap. Tekken is absolutely ripping him apart this round. Has he got any more? Yes, he does! Tekken! The paranoia does not land. And Marty Ed! What a moment for him! Can he get the pin? Yes, he can! Woohoo! Can he keep him alive on this map or are Paper X taking us the distance? They are! Never down! Never out! They can't quite get the second! Hold on! Three Tekken, look at the user. Sorry, stop it! Beautiful. Really shut down! What a read! And waiting for that cross, sharp as ever. He's getting one. He's got the three. And he finds his victim. It's Mind Freak remaining. He's creeping closer. Mind Freak's not stopping. He's got to check. And he does. Sentinels are going to the grand finals. America's last hope holds true.